So I just got the Platinum in this game yesterday. I spent an insane amount of hours. So it was most likely like 160 hours. I got S plus on every single difficulty. I speedrun the game in three and a half hours. At some point I'll probably try to get it down to maybe two and a half. No, I, uh, no, I already did in two and a half hours. It just was an S rank, not an, not an S plus. So this time I will go through the game showcasing some achievements, some professional tactics that I used. So it's also going to be a little bit of a guide. I got everything in the content shop and I'm done with all the challenges. And I will go through most of the challenges during the stream. Especially the more difficult ones. <laughs> I'll show how to one-shot the Salazar boss. No. The Vittoria Mendes. The Chainsaw Sisters and whatnot. Shield your Aris trophies as well. This one is going to be very easy. Most of these challenges are going to happen by themselves. <clears throat> this one, no hot bath for you, is easily done on New Game Plus. This one is also very easy. In tune with Harpoon is easily done unassisted, so I would just recommend to make a save before the boss fight. This one is also should be done on New Game Plus. And when you get the armor Ashley, the game is just so much easier. This is also basically a New Game Plus trophy. At least it's the easiest way to get it. Obtain all weapons is kind of tricky, because you need to get the hand cannon. And you need the infinite rocket launcher as well. So you just need to get through the game a few times. I'll try to show most of Clockwork Castellan's but you can just easily look it up on YouTube, this is pretty easy. For some reason, the burglar achievements or challenge was the last one for me to get the platinum. <clears throat> and this as well, you can just save before the castle, get a treasure map, and just go back if you miss anything. There is a couple of treasures that, that can be easily missed. Hardcore as plus is not easy. And this one is also kind of difficult, and I will show definitely some strategies how to get through some hard areas. Sprinter is just a f so useless challenge. To get any S rank, you need to get through the game in at least five and a half hours. I mean, at most five and a half hours, so this one is just useless. Some people are doing Frugalist, Minimalist, and Silent Stranger in one playthrough. But I could not do it because I just didn't have the, any pistols. I didn't have any handguns when I started it, so I just could not leave the merchant alone. The... Shooting range achievements are also kind of difficult. Trickshot is easy. You just use the Punisher for it. Surprisingly, Real Deadeye was easier than a perfect game. 
But I'll go through the shooting range as well. I will not be skipping any cutscenes, I'll try not to spoil the game. I will definitely not be going through professional, it's just not an enjoyable experience. I'll just go through standards. Or maybe even assist. I'll just go with standard. Just make it middle of the pack. This game is brutal. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out. But too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, the punishing missions nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. It has to. The music is so good. So tell me, Yankee. Why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Leon has cat ears, even the cutscenes. It's a shame I never saw him in a chicken head. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke?
He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. That's disgusting. Almost as disgusting as playing, as playing this game on PlayStation 4. The loading times takes so much time, especially on professional, and you have to restart. Here is the first tip for professional. If you are trying to get S+, plus or even just an S rank, you Anyone only home? have 5.5 hours for the entire game. And if you reload the last save, if you just press continue or load game, it will continue your timer. So what you have to do is you have to quit to main menu and press continue from there. Otherwise, you will most likely not have enough time. Oh, hello. Sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. This is where you call for backup. Immediately. This is not good. Man, that stinks. I'll try to look around, find all files, and not skip anything. It's a shame that there is no achievement or challenge for getting all the files. At this point I don't even remember most of the cutscenes because how much they skip how much I skip them. Hey. And that's not good. I read you. What's your situation? That's funny. This is where you want to stop running. You can get a stealth kill on this guy. But we'll just let him leave. Get the green herb.
Yeah, that's a good decision. Bruce. Call Hannigan immediately. This is Condor 1. Hannigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... He did not lock the door. I let myself out. Throw the axe. Also, when you are playing on New Game Plus. There is immediately a guy right here. They will not be talking to him. I'll just be on my way to the lake. I'll shoot this crow to get some loot. And I'll switch my knife, so I have all the weapons, I have some sprays, some heal, some healing items. I'll switch to my combat knife, because it is a lot faster to use it. So I like how the weapons, there is no clear upgrades in this game. And I will also grab a normal scope for my rifle. Unlike, for example, Resident Evil 8, one gun is not... The next gun is not always better than the previous one. So, for example, the starting knife is the fastest one by far. There is also an infinite knife for getting all the collectible guys. And the last knife has the most damage, and it has a lot of damage. If those guys start twitching on the ground, it's much easier to finish them off with a knife. Or you can just run away. You can also knife the bear traps. Almost got hit already. No files, no nothing so far. This game looks so bad on PlayStation 4. Just look at this. Just look at this door. And then look at that and those rocks. Now it looks better. For some reason. It also even takes a while to load the enemies in. So sometimes you just see them pop out of the thin air. Also, these guys around the fire are straight up immune until the cutscene plays out. So there is a few ways we can go around this place. You can just run around. You can kill 15 enemies. You can do it with grenades, and the easiest way, which is only available at New Game Plus, is to shoot the bell with a scoped weapon. It's somewhere around there in the back. And I should not have a problem with just killing these guys. Oh, and I already got hit. I'm playing on standard difficulty, and I have like the best weapons in the game, so I'll just kill 15 guys.
so we are on a five minute timer right now after five minutes you're going to be safe this guy usually comes out after two minutes so we can just run around the village also there is a grenade in this house if you jump through the window also if you are about to get grabbed you can just sit down and they will miss you completely So if we want to waste some time, we just let them come inside, we jump out, stand here to avoid the extras, and let them jump out. And now we run away. So this cutscene where the chainsaw guy came out, it counts toward the 5 minute timer. So if you are trying to just wait, to wait it out. Don't skip it. Let it fully play out. There's also another cutscene which also counts towards the 5 minute timer. But this cutscene will always summon the chainsaw man right to the door, even if he did not even come out of the door. So don't forget this cutscene too early. There is also a shotgun right here, but I already have it, so it's not. Get the shotgun ammo. And at the last second we can just jump through the window. The bell is in this tower, so if you want to shoot it, go ahead. And also, when we are close on time, we can go into this building. Go up, this, go up the ladder and don't move. If you move, the floor will break. Also, you can throw grenades. Shoot these guys in the head, even with a pistol, with two times, they will just drop down. And you normally have enough time to reload. Here is the bell. We'll grab the heal and drop down. And now they'll just chill. Welcome to the stream. It's kind of a shame that the game doesn't allow you to translate what enemies say. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Also, you want to skip comms if you are trying to get an S+, plus because it slows you down. Here is always a hand grenade. Now we're just going to lose the village. Oh, 
Also, if he needs some extra help, there should be an oil lamp in this barn. If you shoot it down, the cow will come out swinging. And it will help you with the enemies. Also, you can come back to this place. To most places you can come back, more than once. So it's fine if you don't take everything. Also, the fastest way to destroy a crate is going to be aim with your knife. So, like the parry button. And then you focus. There's also Ruby in the house on the left and Hengen Ammo in the house on the right. So now I'll take it. In this part we have our first request from the merchant. And you can get there it is. some stealth skills without being noticed. So we'll go to the left. Even chickens attack you! Also, you don't have to crouch to get the stealth skill. Also, there is um, a well, kind of. You want to shoot the, down this treasure, but this and it's not about the well. So, if it's around here, don't shoot it. Shoot it on the right. It will come around eventually. Oh, I already been noticed. Okay. So th this door is locked, but if you look through the window, you can see the lock. And you can shoot it from the inside. So I'll put on my scope. And now it's open, and you can go inside, get the knife, the ruby, and the cock that we need to progress. I will be unequipping and equipping the scope a lot. God damn. Also, if you stun the enemy, you can just hit him with a kick. It will do a lot of damage. I'll just take it all. And if you pick up a request for blue medallions, they will show up on the map. So I know that I missed one back here. Yep. If you don't want to waste ammo, a lot of them can be just hit with a knife. If you're close enough. We can use this trap to our advantage. If we want to take the big guy to the trap, it will stun him and deal a lot of damage. There is shotgun ammo. There is a low resolution cog. And now we can leave. And before this, we are going to grab a treasure. And the last blue medal. Also, 
Also, these locks, you can shoot them. You can punch the door three times, or you can just pull out your, pull out your knife and slice it immediately. So if you are in a bad spot, the best way is to just slice the lock. can disarm it if we need to, but I'll just leave it for next time. I think we can get some more loot around the cabin, yeah. Also keep in mind if you are low on pesetas, that knifing the barrels will take down the durability of your knife. And if your knife is about to break, you can just break them with your leg. Also if, if the enemies are chasing you, if you just skipped everybody, they will de-aggro if you go here. Then you can go back and get the barrels. Here we want to go to the right. Also, if you look down, the enemies are much less likely to hit you or grab you. You can follow this lady, she will get stuck in a bear trap. You can just go around everybody in here. If you follow very specific routes, if you go exactly like this, pretty much nobody will be able to catch up to you. Then we knife the lock and we are safe. But I will go back because enemies are not a problem on standard difficulty and on new game plus. You want to run away from the dynamite. I guess after 150 hours I'm still bad in this game. Also you can parry almost everything in the game. Including the dynamite and the Molotov cocktails. And if you do a perfect parry, the Molotov cocktail will explode away from you. And she had a dynamite in her hands. If we come back in a later chapter, there is going to be a beetle on this tree. It's going to be worth the 10k pesetas. Next. There is also a nest that you can shoot down to get some loot, some handgun ammo. And I want to go inside this place. And there is going to be the first collectible in the game, right here. It's 
a shame that they they don't respawn after you get them. This guy just disintegrated into black goop. Which doesn't make sense to me, it's not Resident Evil 7. There is no mold in this game. Here we need a small key, which we don't have yet. This rep we have to disarm. Or we can just step away and shoot it. Nobody's going to come into this. So we don't need it. I don't know who this is. You can knife this guy. And chapter 1 out of 16 is done, pretty much. There is a lot of way to get, ways to get around this game without spending ammo, spending time, but I just want to get more pesetas. That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? Oh, there! Not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! Local tyrants. Every Resident Evil game needs a big guy. You can manage our inventory in between chapters. If you are doing this in a typewriter or in between chapters, it will not add to your in-game time, so it's generally recommended. You can also craft in this. So I'll just get I'll just get a heavy grenade and I'll send I'll send my heals to the storage. And whatever I don't need, I'll just sell. Now for one of the strategies, for professional difficulties, we want to save usable knives. So kitchen knives, boot knives, we will need three undamaged kitchen knives before the end of chapter 6. I'm pretty sure there is some static places to get them, but we get quite a few right here. Sacrificial lamb, you will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hey, stop it. Hey, Yankee, got a name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in offices. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess. He's been in wars. You're here looking for someone? <clears throat> One more guess. Maybe. Some missing senorita? Young girl? Talk. Now. All right. See, si. her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her? Where? Who knows? But later, saw some men dragging someone <laughs> to the old church. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hanging with you. Not help. What about now? Oh, 
And that's a terrible way to die. At least they broke his neck and not strangled him. Hey, we're not done here. Uh oh. Later, amigo. Shit! I took my gear. And your jacket too. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in the church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. Condor One, out. It's much easier to skip the communications. It's so good that you don't have to be crouched to get a stealth skill. Also for this guy, we want to stand right in front of this bear trap. Now he's stuck. Also get rid of this one. Now sadly we have to kill some rats. And get some treasures. There is another rat. Now we want to crouch. And the knife is broken. And this is why we disabled the bear trap before. I'll be taking these back. Over here, stranger. Who's that? That's Let's one of the most beloved characters in Resident Evil 4. Welcome. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Got some. Oh, yeah, I forgot another bad. You should get two requests for this guy at this point. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Oh, I see you took care of a request. A job well done deserves payment in kind. In here we should buy pleasant a sniper rifle with a scope. There's going to be this sniper rifle. If you buy it right now, you get a scope for free. Welcome. And now I'll just say uh, I'll just sell a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no oh, I have a fish. The price. Well, that's our choice. Also, the mix of green, red, and yellow herbs will increase the maximum amount of health. But they also sell for 10k pesetas each. And since I'm already on max, I'll just be selling them. I don't need any ammo. You should leave it. And I can, sell, I can sell a chicken egg for a future request. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's good work if I. <laughs> nice. We'll come back anytime. Now I want to craft. You would be able to do it a bit later. But we need um, six explosive bolts for one place and nine for another one on professional. On assisted or standard, it will be a bit less. But I'll just use this to make sure. 
Right now, all we need is a... On a new game playthrough. A shotgun. A pistol. How they called again? Hand cannon, whatever. And the sniper rifle with a scope. And if you're playing a professional, I would advise you to save in here. I've been waiting for you, mate. Got my hands on a fine piece of kit I did. You the hell am I? Now if we don't alert any of the enemies, the next part is going to be a lot easier. This woman will turn around and then look back. So we just want to wait until she goes away. She turns around again. And now we can run up. I want to put up a scope. There is going to be a lot more enemies if you alert the guards. So if you just do it all quietly, it will be a lot, a lot safer. Kill this guy. <coughs> Don't miss. There is one more behind here. There is two more in here. Now we shoot the red barrel. And the one guy goes to investigate. You should get a headshot. But right now this rifle just have so much damage that it can one shot enemies in the body. Now we'll take the scope off. Now the guy is just going to pop up out, out of the thin air, so be ready. There is one guy inside. One is going to drop. You want to use a shotgun for this one. And aim at their shoulders. It will be the easiest way. Or is it only on professional? Now everybody is dead. So they should not summon more enemies. And we can loot safely. If you're unprofessional, don't go on top of this house. It does sound like I miss someone. This place is hell on professional. Now we can go back. We can drop down here. But I just don't care about the enemies.
You can wait for this guy at the battle and just blow him up. And after we get this emblem, normally we just want to run, run to where we came from. A lot of the times, well, sometimes, going for the headshot is not even the best. So if you shoot the limbs, if you shoot the arms and legs, they will take half damage. If you shoot the torso, they will get full damage. And headshot is like 1.2, 1.5. I think it's added to the headshot multiplier of the weapons, so obviously rifles have more headshot damage. I've got some new now we can sell whatever. In stock. I do have large resources, so now I'll just start crafting balls. <laughs> Come take a look. Also here we can get three easy knife kills for an achievement. We want to wait for this guy to go away. I messed it up. Here is always large resources. And the sapphire. Also, nobody can get under this, under this crate. So we are safe here. Also, I forgot to use my small key. And if you are playing on professional, the money is going to be very tight. So I want to go back to where our stuff was. And use the key. At this point we looted two rubies for sure. And I think two sapphires. And we're about to get one more. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your eye. <laughs> Those annoying red, those annoying low resolution doors, love it. Also, for some reason, bear traps should just do no damage. They just stop you. Sometimes it can be absolute death to you. You can shoot a crow. But most of the time they're just annoying. So if you want to strat for this, we don't want to go past this barrel. So there is a treasure right here. There is a sapphire. And there is a well that we shoot close and then we shoot the treasure. Otherwise it will get dirty and it will sell for 5 times less. Now you can just run by this guy, this next guy, duck under the tripwire. 
and run all the way, and he will not catch up to you. So just avoid the traps and run. You can load the barrels, unless he's right behind you. But I'll go back because I want his loot. Now he's dead. Stay down, all right. There is also another nest. Which I cannot shoot. What the hell? Are you kidding me? The toughest enemy in the game, a nest. This game has, um, I guess, dynamic loot system. The more gunpowder you have, the less you will get it. So as soon as you get enough, you want to craft shotgun shells, attachable mines, flash grenades, heavy grenades. I'll craft some attachable mines, because I'll need them. Well, I don't need them, but I want to show a little strategy for Chainsaw Sisters and the big guy. We don't want to go disturb this guy in the toilets. But he can drop his loot twice if you shoot him right here. Another small key. Some files. Also, I don't remember whether is the solution for next puzzle is. Old photos. It might be on the second floor. Yep, that's it. This time I just don't want to input all the solutions immediately, I just want to at least find whatever they want me to find. At least most of the puzzles are pretty easy. So also we got another sapphire. Treasures in this game are also very neat. You could look at these charts, so the more gemstones you can insert into the item, the more mo valuable it is. You can avoid this guy. Now we can go up the stairs. But... I always need more... Pesetas. This one is pretty easy. I will not be reading all of this. I will just try to find it. And now chapter 2 is done. You can get to this point in 20 minutes. Obviously not on your first playthrough. And he just leaves. He just leaves us in his house, in his bedroom. Gift? He just doesn't care. My blood.
I can also make use of storage right now. Now I pretty much have enough bolts. I have 12. And we'll get more later from a fixed location. So you want to craft the bolts three times with a full knife. Secondor One, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor One, out. You can also save a dock right here, but for our upcoming boss fights, in some strategies, the dock can help you, but also it can ruin it sometimes, so you can go right up to him and free him with your hands, or you can shoot the trap. It will let him out, but he will not help you later because it didn't see you. This is what I always do. Also, if we, if we don't shoot the next guy, he will let out the dogs, and dogs are always a nuisance. Also, here is a bear trap. Which will be in your way. What? So that building blocked our path, and we want to go around, so we can go on the ground and get some loot. He just knifed the grandma. And there should be another guy. So the knife just didn't work. So here was another chance to get an achievement for 3 stealth skills without being discovered. But I failed it again. At least I don't have to do it anymore. So some crates contain snakes, which we need. You can sell them, you can heal with them. Also, a lot of crates and places like this will have random loot. So for example, if you buy a gun later, you can come back to here and get maybe ammo for this gun. So you can leave it until you come back. This is giant skull, huh? Yeah, 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 give me a second. Now I just want to free some space in my inventory. Some rare things on sale, stranger. Now I can sell all of this stuff. Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, 
It would be great to upgrade the shotgun right here. If you're doing a new play, a new game, not a new game plus. And now we need to sell three snakes. I knew you were easy work. We'll come back any I need some million pesetas to get the infinite rocket launcher and the save. No, I have so much stuff. This is way too much. Flash grenades are always useful. What can I upgrade? I think both throwers is fully upgraded. Welcome. I got something new for you. So for strategy for a bolt thrower, you want maximum you power, want maximum ammo capacity, there, no reload speeds, and rate of fire of, of at least three, but four or five would be better, just to ensure you can shoot fast, fast enough. Next time, then. Also, my personal hot take, I think that the Duke from this drill 8 is a better merchant than this guy. I guess I'll just take a shotgun. Welcome. Got some rare this is the first shotgun that you get in the village. To get an and this is the strongest shotgun in the game. Try that on for size. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Try that on for size. Sad to say that's the end of the It doesn't get any better. Just don't get yourself killed. By the time we get to the cabin, we can upgrade it fully, completely, and get the exclusive upgrades. So I want it on this button. I want this on the left. Build now. <laughs> and I don't even really use the magnum, so I guess I can just send it to storage. There is a nest with rifle ammo. So here we don't want to run. A church. I made it. If we run the guy inside this shack, we'll be aggroed. If not, we can just knife him. And then we can knife this guy. Do we want to knife these two headstones? Do you really want me to knife you? Okay. Here is the nest with a chicken egg. Under one to roost. Can you walk the any slower? And baby eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor one out. So there's also some loot around the church, but I'll leave it for when we come back. There is also a lock drawer, which we should also leave for later. Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. Come on. Just drop down. It's not that high. Lago. Now in here, there is one dude that we have to kill, 
and we can run past everybody else. And now, nobody can grab us. Pretty much nobody can hit us. Well, mostly. Also, sometimes there is two dudes. But if you run past the specific enemy, if you run past this guy, if he's not on the bridge, they will not spawn. I want to shoot this trap. Here is also a great place for an achievement. There is a ton of crows. You can use the grenades, because they will always give you a grenade back. One of them always drops a grenade. But if you use a flash grenade, you will get an achievement, and you will kill more of them. Present for you. And all the crows are dead. Now there is also two dogs, which is not great. I wonder if I can shoot... Oh, I can! Nice! That sound is menacing. So I didn't pay attention, but I'm pretty sure I got a grenade here. Here we see the first shooting range, which is an absolute mess. <laughs> well done! You've proven yourself reliable. I've got something now I need to sell some more you. stuff. Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. The price will I don't need this many flash grenades and I'll craft more, but I really don't recommend you to sell any flash grenades or hand grenades. Give that the care it deserves, mate. I'm pretty sure here you can f first buy the flash grenade time. recipe. And now we go down to suffer a little bit. Maybe if you're playing on PC, it's just easy for you. But it's Resident Evil, so it's never easy to just aim. Because just if you are aiming with a scope, It just moves around so much. Also, the shooting games reset each playthrough, so if you want to at least knock out the easy ones, if you are not trying to get through the game in 5 hours, I would recommend doing that. You get enough, st enough time to aim. You get enough time to reload if you do it properly. Now don't shoot these guys. Aim right about here. Now we reload right about the one, right before the bonus time. Oh, 
Almost got it all. New high score. Now we can go to Gacha Machine and get some charms. Most of them are useless. At least when you get. At least when you have cat ears, so. Handgun, ammo craft, bonus frequency. You're already? Yes, I am. That charm would be kinda useful. Especially at the start of the game, or if you're doing a playthrough with pistols and knives only. With kind guns and knives. One thing, that, one thing that I don't like that you get a lot of dupes. So you can have... You can get this exact charm like five times in a row. There is also a bunch of loot down here, but we'll come back to this later. Later we can get some fish in here. And equip this. That's pretty cool. So this is your first type playing. You should go right down to this dock. And just shoot the water. Not to use the fish, just, just the water. We'll come back here later, but I think there is a kitchen knife in this house. And the yellow herb in this house, so if you're low on health, you can just get it now. Or if you're low on money. Now we're at the fish farm. There is also a few ways to get through this area. One, you can just go guns blazing. Two, you can try to go around with stealth. Or you can just follow a certain path and you'll get in the least amount of trouble possible. Shit. God damn it. I have a big guy right here. And he can die in one knife hit. You know, if you stab him in the neck. So I'll just run through. And maybe kill everybody on the way back. Once again, we can come back to this area. If we come back here in the next chapter, there will be no enemies and the loot, and all of the loot is still here. Now the lock. So now we want to make sure that we have a shotgun in our hands. About the shotgun. Don't aim for the heads, don't aim for the legs, unless you want to just push the enemy away. Aim for their shoulders, aim for the chest. It will do the, the most damage, so line it up. So it will just hit, it will just kill enemies in one hit. If you are close enough, if all the palace hits. There is also a small key right here. So if you aim like this, even on professional, if your shotgun at power at least 3, it will kill him in one shot. I need this puzzle piece. Knife this medallion. Yeah, 
We want to get a couple of snakes around here. But with, it'll be a lot easier once to just come back to this place later. Well, I will not going to come back. I'll just leave it. I'll just loot it all now, because I can. But after the next boss, this place is going to be empty. And the loot is still here, so... Trying to get all the loot. There is also a nest with shotgun ammo. Are you kidding me? The, tor the storage guys are quite dangerous. You cannot run past storage guys. So there is a snake. So the best way to kill an enemy is to just split them in half. Which is nasty. And this way they cannot turn into parasites. They cannot come back with a broken neck, they cannot let the plugger out. Where is it? Oh, it's already down. The treasure. It fell from the thing. Make sure you listen for more snakes. Even if you don't want to sell them, they are good healing items, they only take two spots and they heal a lot. Now we will take a hand grenade and last blue medallion. So eat some stuff. A little egg, a little another egg. I'll make sure I'll not eat this egg. Now just waste some green herbs. And it's a snake. From what I heard, you can infinitely farm vipers in this area if you're low on health. They will just spawn infinitely. So if you just want to spend an hour in this fishing farm just killing snakes, you can do this. My inventory is way too full. So I kind of want to go back to the merchant and sell it, but I won't, because it's just a waste of time. So I think there is, should always be a kitchen knife in this. Oh, maybe not, maybe in here. Wow, I get these places are not fixed spawns. Maybe in here. Okay, at least in here I got a kitchen knife. At this point I have enough bolts, and now I have, and now I have enough attachable mines. Last one. And now it's time for the most difficult boss fight in the game. At least in my opinion, at least on hardcore and professional.
that's not a good situation. Well, we can swim back. Or maybe not. How did it get hooked up? Now, what we want to do here, if you're on PC, you want to lower your frames to 60, because it will lower the waves. And no matter what your input is, you want to aim with your harpoon and let it go. Don't aim and press the button to throw it, just aim and let it go. And we want to go to the right. If you don't miss a single harpoon, you get an achievement. So I would recommend to get a save before this. So I should have went back to the merchants and got a save. And it's almost dead. Or at least it should be. You can also try to hit it here. If you are just better than me. Also we can line up with this tower. And now I'll just wait for all, it. Huh? Until it goes straight for me. And now I failed. So if you hit enough harpoons, the fight should have ended there. Even on professional, you can just finish it in one cycle. And now it regenerates a ton of HP. And now it's a problem. Now I missed Harpoon, so I would not get an achievement for it. As I said, just get a save before this fight. And as well, it doesn't have to be near third playthrough. Where'd you go? Open up. This is the most annoying fight in the game. You tough son of a bitch. So I am pretty much always holding the aim button. I am not letting go. So when my aim goes down, this is the game not letting me shoot. Not letting me throw the carbons. And now I'm getting destroyed, and I hate it. I don't think the can take Please go like down. That. This boss fight is so annoying. Finally, oh my god. It was way too close. It's on standard. Imagine how bad it is on professional, when your bullets can only take like one and a half hits. And it takes a lot more harpoons to deal with the the lago. As I said, the hardest boss in the game. When I played on Professional, I definitely saved before this fight and right after this fight. Just because how bad the boss fight is.
This is loading times on PS4 are way too long. Sacrificial lamb. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. When day breaks, you too will join our covenant to share in my holy blessing forever. Condor One to Roost. Do you read me? Condor One? You've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Roost out. If you want to get an S rank or an S plus rank, don't forget to keep the cutscenes because they do add to in-game timer, which is one hour and five minutes. And if you're trying to get through the game fast, sometimes it doesn't make sense to go for some pieces of loot, for example this barrel, I don't think it's worth the time to go for it. Also some in-game half cutscenes can be skipped. So for example I pressed the cross button and it went through faster. Twisty son of a bitch. These guys you can kill with the flash grenades, and the radius is huge. So if you have a few of them following you, just check out the flash grenades. And I will need to put on this scope to show some things. What is this place? Some kind of shrine. Same mark from the church. Sure is. It's the lake. If you interact with this, you can get the map update. But if you know where to go, don't interact with it. Here is a very important key. And here will be a request for a golden egg. But I already completed it. And the first merchant. Here is another place where you can get some fish. Just check some harpoons from the boat. 
Also, run through the barrels. Here we can use a small key. And here should be another collectible, Castellan. I think he should be here on the left. You should hear this guy. But since I already collected this guy, he will not show up again. So that's a request done and dusty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> nice work. I got something now I will sell some snakes. You need to only sell three, but I'll sell all of them because they just take up and just waste my inventory space. I don't need the heals. Also, unless you have 12 bolts, don't sell the kitchen knives. Also, you can use them if you don't want to repair the combat, kni the combat knife. Yeah, I'll sell the heal, the small resource. And I will sell one large. Perfect. Your easy work. Will that pleasant travels? Now I have a lot more space, and I can get another gun, just so I can keep the scope on the uh, on the CQBR. And then I'll take the killer seven because why would I not? Now here we want to get back in the boat. You can get some fish. But they just kinda are a waste of time to me at this point. This is another dangerous place which can go out of can go out of control. There should be a flash grenade. We can run past all of these guys. I'll try to treat it like I'm playing on professional, which I'm not. I want to come here, but you can come kill them later. Didn't bury in time. They just also kill each other with a lot of cocktails and dynamites. I don't want this dynamite guy anywhere near me. Get the head and we get the hell out. You can see the solution on the walls. So here is one of them. Chill, let me go. Here is the second one. And here is the last one. I should not have went down there. Now we're safe. But
And here you can just use a shotgun. If somebody is standing in your way. Now I want to shoot down this treasure. And we want to put this stone right into the treasure that we just collected. Ah, uh -uh. no. Have to get all the battles. This place we don't have to visit, but it has some loot and some treasures. Here you can also fish, and I took off the scope because, of course, I did. So you can see a couple of fishes in here. As you see, this is the house where we got Luis out of the bag. There should be a small key lock somewhere in here. Get some gold. That's not all. If I jump down. Um, somewhere. I'm so lost, but I don't want to pull out the map. No, it's right in front of me. It looks like Louis forgot his ring. Or maybe it was a big cheese. For some reason, the big guy in the head is called Big Cheese. Is some sort of a meme in the Reform community. I don't. I have no idea why he is called Big Cheese, but I like it. Already looked at this photo. Don't have to kill these guys. Now I want to go back and grab the beetle. Right on this tree. Here is a treasure, with the key we just picked up. Here is the request for a big fish. Which we'll get in the end. Just why would you do this? What the hell is going on here?
There is also a collectible. You can see the base and the legs right here. And here is a small key. And now we get the dogs. Are you still alive? This is insane. If you kinda go left and right, you can avoid them, most likely. Now we can go get the red 9. Or at least go to the place where it should be. There also might be fish, I don't remember. Now we can fill up this treasure. There should be a red 9 pistol or handgun, but once you pick up the weapon, it will not spawn again. Now in here, there is a ginormous fish, which I missed, which we need for a request. I missed again. There is more fish on the right, but I'm not interested. Yeah. I can also maybe craft some more grenades. You get the heavy grenade recipe in chapter 11, so it's obviously just a new game plus thing. This right now. Here once again we can get some fish. Is it just one? No way. Well at least this is one big fish. Now we can get some eggs. And a velvet blue. And here is one of the most important items in the game. A golden chicken egg. There is a boss, much later on. If you hit him with a golden egg, he will take... It will deal 70% or 60% of his health. So we want to save it for this boss, for this boss battle. But there is two ch golden chicken eggs in the game. So this one you can sell to the merchant. You can also fish here. But if you want to just kill this boss outright with two golden chicken eggs, you can just do that. That's not it. Don't forget the puzzle piece. Here you can see the solutions for the puzzle. This is one, this is two. Or this is two. And the last one is here on the left. Now I think I'm done with this place. I dislike this like a lot. 
It just takes so much time to go around. And the boat is so... It's so hard to turn. And if you are trying to throw a harpoon, you cannot control the boat. So I'm just trying to spend li as little time as possible on the boat. And now I get the key. Condor one to roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get baby eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. Now we're going to fight a big bad guy. There is a few strategies to face him. One of them is attachable mines and bolts. But this... they have to land in very specific spots. And I don't know where it is, and I don't care. Now I'll need to free some of my inventory space. Sell all of it. Your valuables won't do you much. You get a lot of money. Brave. I'll keep in it. I'll keep the eggs that don't take out of space. <laughs> I oh, I need to sell the fish as well. I've got something new for you, mate. Well, look at you. Also in here we can get the treasure map for the village, which I don't recommend you get, especially if you are trying to get an S-Plus. You will need a lot of spinels. We could get a yellow herb to get more health, which I also don't recommend. The gems you can get later on. At this point you can get one of few things. One of them is TMP stock, if it's your first casual playthrough, because the TMP is really good. Or Red 9 stock, because it's also a very good gun. What you can get is the black case, which will increase the drop chance for large resources, which you need for rifle ammo, SMG ammo, and that bolts. In your pocket, or your life. But the best thing might be to wait for like 30 spinels and get the upgrade tickets. Kill a man, kill a man. But I'll get the maps. You've got a soft spot for all kinds of trees. In for a bit of rubbish I'll get the gems. collection, stranger. Finders keepers. That's what I say. See, this is a new game plus. Give that the characters got. Don't get yourself killed now. And right here, I want. To use a strategy that I used on Professional. <laughs> we get the basic shotgun. You want to get maximum power. You want to have at least, I think, 8 or at least 7 rounds in a... You want to have at least... 7 or 8 rounds without reloading and you want to get reload speeds at 3 and we get some decent rate of fire so this strat works even on professional and it's very easy to execute even I managed so Jesus Christ! 
here comes the El Gigante. So just shoot his head. Once the Parasite is out, throw flash grenades and he will always go down. When he's down, shoot the Parasite as close as possible. The Parasite goes back. Well, you would, unprofessionally, you would need to shoot his head. Then you throw another flash grenade, and you repeat it until he's dead. Three flash grenades should be enough. I think at this point you will find at least... Well, you're guaranteed to find two flash grenades. Okay. Let's get to that and one more you can find, or you can get a crafting recipe and just craft them. This is the easiest way. And if I was not fooling around, if I just shot his head, he would not even be able to hit me. More handgun ammo. Might as well use some eggs. This game looks so bad at PlayStation 4. And once we got in the boat, we can go back to the fishing farm and just get all the loot. Since now there is no enemies in here. Shoot the dog in the head. And it will die. Now here we get the bolts. So we need 16 bolts, but we only need to craft 12. This is so much loot. And I want to sell it all, so I'll just send my shotgun to storage. Don't send your shotgun to storage in here. You might you might need it. You'll most likely need it. We get a small key. So this animation also was cancelled. You can just do it to save time. On this puzzle we want to align... I always align the green first, so you can see the tip. And with red, I just align the kind of wings or whatever under it, and just spin the blue until it falls into place. It took me a while to do this the first time because I just didn't know that there was a blue one. So I was trying to do the puzzle with no solution. Ashley, I thought maybe if I cover the most place with green and red, it will just solve, Ashley. magically. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Ah! Let me go. Listen. Ah! Easy with that. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters. That one will. It's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Pursue them. Uh. The last lamps are escaping. Yes. 
Now we are free to do some more inventory managing without spending time on it. So I'll just do them. I'll just do some more flash grenades. They're always good. Now I have some space. Exactly as I say. I'm gonna get you home safe. Okay. Okay, we on. So my Ashley has armor and sunglasses. I know she looks stupid. But this is the easiest way to play the game, especially on pro hardcore and professional. You want to go back and grab the yellow diamonds, which we will need later. There is your phone. Get the ladder. I guess she doesn't need it. And here, make sure to grab tactical mines. Now we have 19. But I think I got a bonus, so you should be at 17. No way. It's okay, I've got you. Hey, trust me. <laughs> Leon is strong, that armor must wait a lot. There are flash grenades. Roost, I've secured Baby Eagle. Now I want to go inside and get the yellow diamond. We do it now instead of doing this before. Because it should line up so that we can kill this lady. The guys go into the church. And we can let these guys just go past us. How did he see us? Wrong 
In here you can just run. So Ashley in armor does not take damage. Even if you shoot her with Magnum or a rocket launcher. She can still get grabbed, but they will immediately drop her on the ground. And I'm just going back because I'm on New Game Plus and I just want some more loot. Come on, hit me. That's what I thought. So, perfect example. He can just... He's just not strong enough. He's not shot enough like Leon. So he just drops Ashley on the ground. So after you play through the game on hardcore difficulty, you just don't have to care about Ashley. Uh. I think you have to get at least A rank, which is like You're seven good. or nine hours. I'm fine. Uh. I have some new goods. Welcome. Got some rare things on. Oh, sale. I forgot to go there. Well, that's minus 15k. <laughs> yeah, this is because I didn't go back to the fishing village. Actually, it's only minus 9k, so whatever. I'll buy easy. Well, don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Even still, you can go back to this puzzle and get a uh, dog idol for 15k. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your eye. Hey, can we but I cannot be bothered. Sorry, we need to keep moving. So this is when you can loot all these drawers. If you run up to this guy just in time, you should be at least time time. You should be able to get a quiet kill on him. And then from here, you should be able to go full assassin mode if you did not get spotted. Playing dumb, you can get the whole village killed with just your knife. Also, be careful because on professional there is a brute, which is a big guy, with the cow mask, with the cow head. Now we can use the final small key in the village. Over here. Okay. Put Ashley to use. I need you to open it from the other side. Okay. I 
And now once you have Ashley, we want to go back to the village chief house. Make sure she did not get lost. Just like this. Oh, she can open it. Sometimes she just can get stuck. So, for example, you are here. And she can be, like, all the way back at the church. Like I said, so, don't dangerous. run too far away. Stay close. Okay. Especially if Ashley is on... Let's go. Another mode. Okay. Spread out. Come on. Give me some space. Let's go. Okay, you're good. Spread out. Come on. Spread out. Come on. Okay, you're good. Come on. Okay. Just some casual Ashley abuse. This way. Okay. Now in this place there is a lot of files. You can look at all of it. Oh, is this Vittori Mendes? Oh no, it's his father. Yeah, that would make sense. He's not... His hair is not grey yet. And probably will never be. Now go down here. For more files and the treasure. So, another main reason why we got up here and just went back to this house is so that we can do a request from the merchants. You can hear the dog, and it only spawns if you come back to this house. Here it is. It goes back to the village. You can actually shoot it right here. Maybe you should actually even kill it. But that's probably only on Negan Plus on assisted and stuff. And she is stuck. Maybe it's better this way. So this dog takes a lot of ammo. But you can just knife the dog. You want an, your knife to be at, at least at 1.2, even better at 1.5 durability. So upgrade it a little bit. And just aim and knife the dog. It gives you 8 spinels, which is a lot. So go right to it and knife it. And it will be a completely stun loss. It goes to the side, you follow it. runs far enough, you should run up to it and start knifing it again. It's very easy. And it's still alive. And now it's not. Target neutralized. So it's very easy request with the dog. If you can just knife it. They lay on the ground for a long time, you have time to knife them. And here we also kinda want to be stealthy. If we go to the left, there should be a guy. Uh. 
At this point, you should just run. Run like the winds. Don't get distracted by random hundred pesetas. You can go inside and they will not follow you because there is a merchant. In here, make sure to fully upgrade your shotgun. Is pretty much necessary. A deal well might want to take care of any leftover. So I will take the shotgun. I will send the <clears throat> assault rifle to storage, get a shotgun, and get any pistol for. Shooting treasure reasons. The brute should be right here. And you can just knife this guy. Get a treasure. And eliminate a threat. Now you can just run. I did not run far enough. Once they start screaming, they will spawn and they will run after you. You should just run all the way over the bridge. But... Where are you at? Oh, there is also a treasure. Which I guess is good. But I returned here. Now we can go to the cabin. And I also recommend if you are playing a professional, save before this next part, so go save right here. Senorita. Senorita has a name, it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, hi, now. In that case, here, help me. Ashley, quick. Over here. Now I want to put planks in this window, loot the cabin, loot it fast, loot it with your knife, also if you don't have ammo, 
Luis will try to give it to you. Which can be extremely annoying. And now, you just come up to this guy and blast him. Aim for the chest. Even on professional difficulty, this maxed out shotgun, which you should be able to afford at this point. He's one shot, unless you have a plugger. You can also one shot the plugger. So just get close. They're pretty stupid. We need 15 kills. Let them come inside. Nope, not you. Now I've got that one window, and we have only one entry point left. Also shoot the explosive barrel. Right. And now we we'll wait. Good. And now I'll also get rid of this knife. And raise some green, green herbs to get some space. I'm waiting for this cutscene. And now we stay down there. Nope. We need about 5 kills. They'll just drop down here. Go to this window. One of these guys inside. Three shots should do it if not professional. Now wait for two seconds. One, two. And this section is over. Unlucky. And that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> Ashley. What's, what's happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like not much. This but if you don't get the armor. You can see that she is actually coughing up blood. The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a plaga. Okay, you saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you, the same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms, they're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with a surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you too? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. That's the difficult part. Great, we're partners then. 
Hey, why are you... No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. We'll contact you later. How do you have my number? <laughs> Now we will need our balls very soon. So we have to make sure that we have 17 balls. If you have enough balls and if you have enough attachable mines, you can just start crafting the flash grenades because they're always useful. Might as well put the charm in the case. you like. Now where's the amber? Unfortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which is why I'm still alive. The deal was we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. Such a stickler for details, Haida. Okay then. I'll go get it now, how about that? And I do have something else I need to get, too. Condor One. With the weather like this, the chopper can't make its approach. Can you stand by until it clears? Negative. Too dangerous. We're gonna get out of here and find someplace safe. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor One, out. Let's go. What's... What's gonna happen to me? Right now. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, right. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> so, if you are playing Can't professional, right here, you want to sell your shotgun. Get the bolt. Get the bolt thrower. If you didn't, upgrade it to maximum power. Upgrade it to maximum capacity, and if you can, to maximum. Welcome. Got some rare um, rate of fire. Sales, Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes. You should have about enough money. Also, you should have your sniper rifle, and get it to. Power three, maybe four. No, three. You cannot get to four. You should have enough money to get there. <clears throat> I just have a bunch of garbage. A deal come back any time. I want to get my rifle back. Fine. 
No, it's not in the right spot. Now it is. You want to put on a scope. Kira, think about the bolt thrower. With scatters, it does not get infinite ammo. Now we want to be quiet. If you're playing professional, company. Keep moving, but quietly. Got it. There will be a grandma on the left. I'll try. And if you kill her, then you kill this guy. You get this yellow diamond. Now go back here. Shoot this woman. Don't miss. There should be... Two enemies coming to investigate the noise. Here is one, and I don't see the second one, which might be a problem. Usually, if there is no more enemies around, Leon checks up on Ashley. He asks if she is alright and whatnot. And if there is an enemy left, that might be bad for me right now. It seems like there is not. This area is kinda loot heavy. This is why we want to loot it if you're not professional. So if you kill these guys, you can just loot it freely. There should be a house on the left, right? But if you want to get some money from this encounter, if you're playing on New Game Plus, maybe even with cut ears, just go in guns blazing. You're kidding me. This is the first time that it actually happened to me. Come on, it's on your armor. Okay. Should be good. This armor can withstand rocket launcher blows. And this stops you? Okay. This guy is always, or almost always, a plaga. So we might have to shoot him in the head twice, even with the sniper. And he spotted us, so I want... I wanna know, did the enemies spawn back here? No? It's... Why it in here? Here is a collectible with his little legs. Now I don't need the scope anymore. Sure is quiet. We can quietly kill these two enemies right here. But not in this way, that's for sure. They don't even really spawn more enemies. So just take him out, or don't. 
There should be shotgun ammo in here somewhere on the crates. Here it is. Another upgrade to our to my maximum health. Or at least it would be. Ashley is so loud in armor. I have way too much stuff again. I guess I will send the biosensor scope and storage. Now we're about to, to enter a very dangerous room, which I had a lot of problems playing through professional for the first time. But then I found on YouTube the easiest way to go about it. You unlock these doors, you get the healing spray, and now the bolt thrower. We aim it, so... Well, that's your mine. So this is where the crank... The story item is. So we go four to the left. One, two, three, four. And shoot six mines. Maybe even seven. Attach the mines and shoot as fast as possible. So let's see. Mm, one more. Great. Nice one, Leon. And now, even on professional, they should be instantly Sorry. dead. Didn't realize it was yours. I am flattered. Yep. There was even more mines that I needed. One more that I needed. Now, in this door, there is a lot of enemies, so we can go around through the door unlocked. Just go around them. Don't get hit. Go back. Now, we put on the crank. And now we look back. And throw grenades. So it should last long enough for us to open the door. And now we can run away. You can check another flare grenade to free Ashley if she doesn't have armor. Oh yeah, you can also use Ashley with armor as a tool. Since the enemy attacks are going to bounce off. They can get stunned. So, pay a little bit of attention to enemies around Ashley even if she has armor. Because she is no longer a detriment to you. Is he dead? No, he's not. Come on! Are you kidding me? And now he asks again. Yeah. 
He doesn't? Are you hurt? No, yes, I'm, he does. I'm okay. I guess. You did well back there. Seems this isn't your first time running from creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. These resources are almost way too much. We can just always get some more flash grenades. And use one of these. Now, we just have to run. Also, enemies right. here are Come very on. weak, and they will drop from just one, maybe two. Pistol drops, pistol shots. That's the big cheese. Ashley, run! Hurry! You should not shoot this guy. Just run. They are all slow and stupid. Don't worry about them. Now shoot the battle. He's just standing there, menacingly. Listen, you're the one he wants. If we see him again, you run. What about you? I'll do my job. Now, if you're playing on professional, don't break this barrels here, and save. I've You'll save before this fight anyway. If you don't have enough resources for attachable mines and bolts, still, Hello, you can save and reload until you get what you want. I have so much useless stuff. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. At this point, use all of your treasures. Fill them up with gems, sell them. Make sure your bolt thrower has enough rate of fire. Might as well sell some treasures. And you can do butterfly lamp with three yellow diamonds. This sounds so satisfying. Tin tin. Tin tin. Isn't travels welcome? I got something new for ya. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to you, stranger. Come back any time. You should definitely get enough money. The great ball thrower. This might not be the best way, but I think it is the easiest one. So, first I want to shoot three bolts with attachable mines right in between these barrels, and then six on this beam. This might be difficult, so you might have to reload some safes if you are playing a professional.
Also because bolt thrower is garbage. Don't miss. As I said, don't miss. Don't... Whatever. Take that! Big cheese. Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our God. You're a shitty missionary. You know that. Oh, Almighty. Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Okay. God, I thank you for your gift. He's crazy. Let's get ugly. Now, the first phase should. After the mines explode, he will go down. And you should hit him in the back of his eye, which you can kinda see right now. I think five times with a sniper rifle. Make sure you hit. You should know you were the bugs. Also, he does not go in the same spots every time, so here, if you were a professional, you would reload. But also, I'm on standard on New Game Plus, so it's easy as hell anyway. Yeah. Leon! Great job, Ashley. Leon! Quick! This place is coming down! So stay away! Give my regards to your god. Now I loot this place. Hey, you coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a second. I don't need that. Leon! I don't need that either. Should have left with one green herb. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. This fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. And this is the last treasure in the village section. And I actually missed two of them. Which ones are these? I know one I missed in the fishing village. Oh yeah, and one more and missed on the lake. It was the velvet blue hanging from the ceiling.
The second one is not that important. What's going on? Well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on. I would not worry about that right now. You already killed the whole village. You blew up, they blew up most of their bridges. The last thing that I would worry right now is about being followed. I would rather go back. Since now the biggest threat, the Chief Mendez, is dead. It would just be safer to be in the village. Just wait for Louis, wait for the weather to clear up. Wait for Hannigan, wait for a wait for a helicopter, and get out. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but I actually just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. All right. Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Yes, we better go. <sighs> So we're at 2 hours and 8 minutes, which is fine. If you're playing on professional, I have some new and you enter, the, in, you enter the castle by this time, you should still well, be fine to get an S plus rank. Something new for you, mate. A deal well struck. Crossing your T's, so at this point, that will do. What can I do you if you did all the requests, you should be able to buy exclusive upgrade tickets. So, for example, if you have Chicago Sweeper or Hand Cannon, you could get it. But I will get a case just because I want to buy all of that. Oh, it's so full. So now I would recommend you to buy. Well, I saw what other people did, and people buy Stingray. Which is strange, because this is the weakest rifle in the game. The CQBR has more damage. The Springfield also has more damage. The first sniper rifle has the most damage in the game. Same goes for the first shotgun. Now you can get the right gun shotgun. And the black tail handgun. And the broken butterfly. If you are playing, for example, at new game, not a new game plus, but you have cat ears, I would just recommend to buy a broken butterfly and use it till the rest of the game or until you get the killer seven. And I have way too much grenades and not that much space. Welcome. So I'll just sell it all. Now I don't need touchable mines, you can sell no the gold thrower, the it's price. useless. Well, that's our choice to make. I will sell 10, I will sell 2, I will sell uh, 6 of these. I'll need some hand grenades in upcoming section. Now I have some space. Anytime. Let me see if I should upgrade uh, some sort of weapon. My knives are upgraded. These two bonus weapons I have not upgraded. No, I think I am fine. Maybe I'll buy a rocket launcher. Maybe I should take a magnum with me. What are they? Shh. Keep your voice down. Now you can 
run past this guy. Should be just fine. It only takes damage when his mouth is open. Now I want the scope. I should die from one headshot from the bolt action sniper rifle. Come on, look at me. Okay. They shoot twice. Should this? <laughs> now, if I look inside, there is another blue medallion. And very yellow looking counterweights. Did you... A secret instrument that will help us later! I don't want a scope. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. Right? Now we look back. Yeah, no big deal. They keep coming. Now we look forward. Now we look back. We can show this blue medallion later. And now, since we shot the explosive barrels, we have two left catapults to deal with. We can also shoot an enemy with a cannon to get another achievement. Now catapults are done, and now we can shoot the door. All right, that went well. I'll have a warning next time. Awesome. Thank you. Good night. We're gonna knife this one. Do I need to catch you? No, but I wish I could. And I don't want you to break your legs. <laughs> now for most runs, even on professional, you should have enough money. Especially if you sell your old, if you sell your old guns, and now we can just skip most of the treasures, especially ones that are not in your way. 
No oh, money. Now we can get some more skin from the nice quest. Work. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. We did not get damaged. Come back. Our inventory is getting full again. Any time. a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon, and allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me, now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, how novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply, yes? Never! You heard the lady. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. The voice acting was so good in this scene. Leon? Just stay close. Now we can just use a flash grenade. Here you go. Flash them. Get Ashley to the other side of the wall. Hang on. So she should be safe. Oh my god. She should be safe. I'm counting on you. You can just run from these guys. They are too slow. I can grab them. I can get the loot. Oh, shit. The yellow herb. Oh. Actually, is just fine. Next. Something is wrong with my sound. I hope it is not reflecting on stream. Continue on this way. Be careful. Get all the items. Do they keep animals down here or something? Yeah, probably just an animal. You know what? The attachable mines could be useful right here. No, nope, still fell down. No, 
Now there's few ways to deal with this guy. You get an achievement if you just snipe him to death. So you can get to his back and do a stealth attack. Second way is to use a sniper, and the last one is just to not interact with him completely. This chain sound is weird. So what we can do is we can run in, throw a flash grenade back, and just do the thing. It should be stunned long enough for us to open this. Now we sit down, don't run, and we can get up. Just don't touch the chains. Oh, that's not right. Just like this, you can knife them. Maybe this is a strat to just do all the three, all three strats at once. You can get a very valuable gem from this guy. Also, it's a lot easier if you have the knife with more damage. If you're trying to do this with kitchen knives, this is going to take a long time. And you take a lot of damage. Oh, it's you. No. Nothing. You were right about the end. <coughs> that was rude. You okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. Now there should be, yeah, another collectible. There is his legs. This room makes perfect sense. Oh, guess you're right. Just a normal dude, normal knight, with an iron sword. Got promoted, got a golden sword. Blooded this sword with his blood of his enemies. And now his sword is resting on his grave. There is a snake. Get the snake. Hang on, this is the same room as before, isn't it? Guess we just. You don't have around. to shoot the bells, the gongs. There is a string underneath each bell. <clears throat> So you can, you can just pull it and activate it this, this way. It also tells you which one you need. If I put on a scope. So you can see whatever this is. And the snake. And here is the snake. It's also better if you kick down the ladder because Ashley can kick it down for you and she will take a long me? time to do it jumping across chandeliers seriously who does that <laughs> where are you my mother
Salutations, Mr. Kennedy. Are you ready to hand over the girl? Not this guy again. You can just shoot this and he'll shut up. Now I want a handgun or a magnum for this next section. And I want flash grenades, just in case. And I want a scope as well. Be careful. I'll try to do. I'll try to be careful. So on professional there is always also going to be a shooter on the left. Now I don't want the scope. There is also a ton of loot all around this room. Which is mostly useless for me. Also, there are going to be a lot of archers, arbalesters. On these balconies. On professional. And probably hardcore as well. And from here... And you have to go down, but before this you can snipe these guys. If you snipe them, most likely their parasites are going to come out. Give me a break already. Jesus, it's got And if you don't shoot the parasite immediately, he will be down there. As a parasite waiting for you. There's also an explosive barrel in the back, so you can just get these guys. To it. Preferably more than one enemy. Oh, and as you can see, it did not take damage because the mouse of the parasite was closed. Now this is a slow way. You hurt? Good, thanks. Or you can just go down, run for it, grab the wheel, come here, put it in, turn around, throw flashback. And do this safely. Now there is more archers. And there is one more. 
And now I don't need the scope. So whatever just happened is not a big deal on lower difficulties, okay. but on professional, I'm you fine. might be just dead from what happens. And then here you can also run rounds, get the will, throw a flash, might not even need to throw the flash. So there is no treasures in this room. Not out of the woods yet. We can go to the left and right to get some loot, which is not worth the time you spend to go around here. But now we need to get to the other side. For this, you need three wheels this one, this one, and this one on the right. You can do middle first, but you can also Come on. tell Ashley to go up and she will get attacked by the enemies. You're gonna be okay? Before anyone, before anyone yeah. gets to her, you can turn the wheel. I'll cover you. Don't Even stop. if they run, they will just stop and walk up to her slowly. They're also, I think, weaker than normal, up here. So in one shot from the rifle might take them out. Be careful! Now we have enemies down there. We can stop them with a flash. Don't let, don't let Ashley get grabbed, she will be interrupted. Also, the less enemy we kill down there, the less enemies will spawn up there for Ashley. If she does not get interrupted, it goes by really okay, fast. Get back here. If she is interrupted, you can get stuck here for a bit. That went pretty well. You can also tell Ashley to go up first and then okay. break the barrels.
Roost, come in. Things went to shit. We took refuge inside a castle, but I've just been separated from Baby Eagle. Say, you. Roost, you're breaking up. Do you read me? Damn it! So much for that. Now here I'll need to take a 5-10 minute break and I'll be right back.
Okay, let's go. Now we get some fish for healing and selling. There also was a bit on the wall, which I took. There is a nest with a scratched emerald, which we need for a request. You can just sell it immediately. <laughs> Having a rough day, straight. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I'll buy almost anything. <clears throat> Perfect. You're crossing your T's, dotting your I's. <laughs> Nice work. Come back any time. Inventory is good. Let's go. Now this room is kind of tough. I have to kill this red guy. What? Is he doing this? Is this because I didn't skip the cutscene? I have to kill him before he runs away. Let him get away. Now we can just leave the room. Chill. Now we get the treasure. There is also a bunch of loot, but we can just go away. At this point, I will not be grabbing all the loot. We should have enough money, enough resources, even for professional players. And this room is terrible, unprofessional. I want to unlock this door to come back to come back to come back later. My God, what's wrong with me today? Hello there. Would it make me use this? Would you? Well, after six years, that is one hell of a greeting, Ada. You don't seem surprised. Interesting. <laughs> Try using knives next time. Better for close encounters. But remember this. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So who are you working for this time? Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now. And who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Right. How about we continue this discussion another time?
last person I thought I'd run to here. You have the worst place for your knife holster. It's like you're asking for somebody to take it and use it against you. If you're playing on professional, one plate will be in inside of this pod. Sometimes it's get me confused. This puzzle was pretty easy. Just match the image and the shape and the color. All right. Need to find Ashley. Now, there was a locked treasure, but we don't want to come back with this small key right now. This key is used in the next section. And this guy, you have to blast him with a shotgun. Don't get him, don't let him get close. He can kill you. Take this. Oh, I knew you'd choose that one. <laughs> and now it's all sold. So now this is completed. And this just reload every time. So you can buy this as much oh, as you want. Same for this. And the exclusive Here's upgrade ticket resell, uh, reset every playthrough. And the gunpowder as well. So also this. 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 The treasures, the the stones, the herb, it resets, and the maps. Any combat, any. Where is it? Here it is. Died. If you have an infinite rocket launcher. This section becomes a lot easier. She said meeting you once was enough. Nope. Uh one down. Didn't shoot in time. So now there is two ways to go about this section. You, can, you want to go through it normally if you want to get all the treasures. And if you want to go fast, you can just throw a grenade. I don't remember, is it to the left or to the right? If next one is on the right, this is probably on the left. So something like this. Sorry. Yep. But I will still go back there to get the treasure, even if I don't want to. Now I can kill the archers. There is another Castellan. You need to destroy all the 16. One in each chapter to get the infinite knife. At least the knife will become infinite once you fully upgrade it.
Wait, no. Uh, never mind. Close it back. Never mind. Open it back up. Get the loot. I still have no idea why they, they disintegrated this goop. It doesn't make sense to me. Now we want to go up. And go down. Here is a treasure. And the big one as well. This is second most expensive treasure in the game. So this has the doors we opened, which we don't need. But you can go back from here. And I'm... I think you can shoot... Your worry out from this one. From inside. So we should be able to go back. If you do it normally. Now, if you have an infinite rocket launcher, you can shoot this big guy and make it easier. You guys are really starting to become a giant pain in my ass. And now we run. Can we run fast enough? Probably no. Oh, maybe yes. There is enemy on the left. Didn't duck around, didn't duck in time. And I'm just giving stun locks. Nice. Take out this dude. You can also take out archers from here as a sniper rifle. They keep coming. Also, if you enable it in options, you can just aim with this dot. He threw the rocks and we go down now. And we can hear the treasure, which I definitely missed, and was left with uh, 40 out of 41 treasures. And it is up here. And it's a useless ruby. But if you want to get achievements, you have to take it as well. I'll bait him one more time. And 
now we can go up. Yes. Cannon. And now it this works. is why we kept the key. This is one of the very few sections that you cannot go back to. Because of this gap in the bridge. Take that. If you have fast firing weapons like CQBR or TMP or the second SMG, I think it's called Le 5 or something like this, don't go for headshots. And if you have a shotgun, don't go for headshots. Just go for center mass, shoot him in the chest. Shoot the big guy. Now that's a headshot. Adios, you suck. Now shoot the guys. And now shoot the door. Alright. Open for traffic. Now it takes the loot. So this section is clear. I don't know if I'll try to get all the treasures in the castle. It is very annoying. How high are those castle walls? <laughs> Not that high! What the hell? Where did he go? Is there some file? Something to read? Ashley, where are you? I hate this section. Afraid, you know. But you can't run. You gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Together. I don't know if I can. You can. Just give me a heads up before you stab me next time, okay? <laughs> Leon, I...
Luis, where are you? Sorry, I uh, screwed up. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you Charming, pal. Come on. I'm in the ballroom past the courtyard. Don't be late to the dance. I can't believe that guy. We're in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? This section is terrible for multiple reasons, and this is one of them. This is an unskippable cutscene that will play hey, three times. The flag's been lowered. And when you're going fast, it just stops you in your tracks so fast. There is a snake. So just knife it twice. <clears throat> there is a dog. You know what? I'll go back and get a shotgun. <coughs> Which, in a normal playthrough, would be an absolute waste of shotgun bullets. But you can already see how annoying the dogs are in this game. Another PlayStation 4 moments. Get a, I guess I'll put this away for now. And the scope as well. Just to free up some space. need my items in all the right places. Just to know what I what am I switching to. This is the same for me in all games. Including Genshin Impact. I have to make sure that Whatever I'm using is all in the right places. So when you come up to this dog, you can try to shoot it right here. Or when it goes around, you can meet it right here and shoot it. Now get ready for two more dogs. People. Even with a shotgun, it's so goddamn annoying. And it's, it is still alive? Jump scare warning in 3, 2, 1. Shoot this dog. Shoot this dog. This dog shoot every dog. They are not welcome here. Now we get the elegant chessboard. Which one guy said is the most beautiful treasure in the game. 
And I kind of agree. Look at this shine. And this low res, <laughs> lower part. Oh, now it's loaded in. Now that's nice. Might as well get the necklace. We can do all four colors. So now we have the highest multiplier and it costs 52,000. It's 1.6. But if we switch it and we go for the most expensive gems, it will cost a lot more. But you will lose out. You will use more expensive gems. So if you have less treasures and more gems, go for more expensive gems. If you have more treasures, go for more different gems. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't feel great t today. I think dogs are one of few enemies, one of few enemies that you cannot parry in this game. Which makes zero sense. Because why would you not be able to use the knife to fight off the dogs? Get the flash grenade. Here, hold this down. Hang on. Finally, get out of this maze. Can we really? Another unskippable cutscene. Ashley, run! And he immediately grabs me, which is almost unfair. Also, in here you can run, and if you don't have armored Ashley. If Ashley is captured, you can throw two grenades, and they will drop the and they will drop Ashley. Or you can go back. He's still alive. Shotguns are definitely not the most consistent weapon in this game. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. One down. There should be at least one more dog. Probably with the parasites. Now we go back a little bit, and since the previous chapter, the fish will respawn. So this is a great source of healing items. And if you're good in HP, you can sell the fish. And now we have to backtrack even more if we want to get all the treasures we need to go back to the room with the guy with the red lamp 
Red guy with a lamp. Go through the doorway unlocks. And get Ashley to the other side. Okay. Turn turn around. There is a whole history of the Salazar house, which nobody cares about. And here is the dog idol, which I missed in the village. How much that's worth. It's worth 15k, as I can tell right now. You gonna sell that thing you got? Yes, I will. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Also, it doesn't make sense to... Almost doesn't make sense to go to this merchant. Welcome. Because Got he's right up ahead. On sale, stranger. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price... Sell some more stuff. That's our choice to make. Sells expensive heels. And sells a boot knife. <laughs> Thank you. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. God come back any time. Where is it? I can hear this disgusting dog. And you still hit me! This is why I hate this section. Ballroom must be this way. And here is another merchant. Right up ahead. So I'll just do some inventory management. I'll get one heavy grenade and some flash grenade, which I cannot do anymore. I'll get back my main weapon. I'll swap a trend like this. <clears throat> and I'll try to show a somewhat efficient path. In this place. So as soon as we come in, we look to the right, there is a blue medallion. Don't miss it. Shoot this. Get this. Look, there's a statue up there. Yeah, there is. Now I want to go to the gallery. There's also a blue medallion right there. We'll get it a bit later. Go inside, get the grenade ready. Just a normal one would do. Or I can use the flash, but I found that flash were much less consistent. Just throw it. And it stunned this guy with an iron helmet. And he does not pull down the lever. If he does, we go all the way back down there. And we have to fight our way. And we have to fight to get back to this place. Don't forget the blue medallion. Now get ready to shoot.
There is a ton of loot in this room. <clears throat> and even on professional, unless you are very short on ammo, you want to get most of it. There is a flash grenade on the table. And there is a yellow diamond in here, which is such a waste of space. You can barely even see the diamonds in this ginormous chest. Break all the breakables. And the reason why we want to loot it and go up here, even in professional, even if we don't have to pull the lever, is the gem from the red guy. It is the most exp <coughs> the most expensive gem. And combination of this gem and yellow diamonds are worth even more money than the combination of all five colors. We get the medallion. Get the gunpowder, hey, get the yeah, herb, hammer. get the key. Use it like a vest. <laughs> Little All the loot here is not taste. random. Mm, too bad. I think you'd look pretty get bad. the medallion in here, you can shoot it from down there. Especially if you don't you. miss. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. Ashley, stay up there. For this night, we want to shoot the next. Come on, you can't be serious. Or if you have the Magnum, shoot them twice anywhere, and they will die. Unless you shoot their stomachs, I mean, unless you shoot their arms. They drop spinels, which are useful. There is also a bunch of loot around this room. Also wait for Ashley to throw down a lamp. She'll make it easier, especially for this guy. This guy in particular, who has his crit on the back. And now I can throw a flash, and they all die. Hey, okay? Or you can shoot their parasites. Hero. I think it takes sure right? two not sniper far, rifle shots. No. Thanks for your help. On professional. I really did the trick. <laughs> if you hit the right spots. Here is a rat we have to kill. It will spawn shortly. Somewhere. Oh, here it is. This device is the reason why we come to this place seconds. So if we come here and go immediately back to the merchants. <clears throat> this makes for the most efficient route. We can do it with all the yellows, they have way too much rubies, 
so much as so might as well use them. And for this treasure, I want both colors to match because the treasure itself is expensive. Welcome, Wilden. What can I do next? Buy something, eh? <clears throat> this is the reason why I like Duke more than this guy. He complains way too much. <laughs> and now again I have 16 flash grenades. You don't need 16 flash grenades. You don't even need 10. Stranger. Especially in New Game Plus. That's good work. If, anything, don't get yourself if you're trying to run now. through the game, keep all the flash grenades, they'll help you. <laughs> there is also second tier of shooting ranges. Now there also should be a red. Somewhere right here. Where is it? It doesn't go here, it should be right here. I swear, they are probably spawning... Uh, dining hall. Just later. Here? No thanks. Because of PlayStation 4. Now this is another puzzle. Which is super easy. So when we come from here, we we'll just tell Ashley to sit right there. Spread out. Hang on. Not that. This Ashley. Okay. And we sit here ourselves. And we ring the bell. Leon. Looks like we figured it out. There is the last blue medallion. If I didn't miss any. I did. Somewhere. Let's go. Hang on. Now make sure you did everything you want. For example, don't forget about the blue medallion around here. And don't miss it like I did. Once we put the last head, we can go back with Ashley in the castle. Oh, yes, you will. Wait for me, Leon. And now we get to play as Ashley. But if you have the armor. This section is completely trivialized, and you have no threats to worry about whatsoever. Don't scare me like that. It 
it can also be done in like two minutes and skipped mostly. Is that a clock? So we have to go there to progress. And the combination for the clock is 11.04 for assisted and standard and for hardcore and professional it's 7 p.m. Or <laughs> I mean it's 7. Or 7.12, if you like. So this entire place is completely unnecessary. And if you're trying to get S+, plus, most likely you will not even go there. So this is where the rifle that I'm using is normally, Please. but you cannot get it as Ashley. Also one more function that I really want is for Ashley in armor to be able to punch the vases. The vases. So you can also use your light to deal with enemies. But you also get an achievement if you don't use it in this entire section. And now Ashley can get some treasures too. So if we shine the lights on this guy, he will just stop. He's just chilling. I mean, it takes him a while to recover. They're also very slow. And you can just go around them. Unless you are in a very tight space, like a staircase. It's better to go to the left. But if you are in armor, they could not do anything to you. You could just stand in here. Come on, bro, let me go. Thank you, finally. It's not this one, it's the... this one. So if you want to know what keys to use in order... Basically it starts with two. So it's two, three, four, one. One is the last one. If we go in, I think, intended order. Leon? Ashley, are you okay? Hang on, I'll figure something out. Here it tells you what to put on the clock, and here we use another key.
you can lure this knight away if you don't have the armor. Just like let him come up as far as you can. And you can stop this guy. Slowly go around him with the lights. And then spin the wheel. They are, but they are slow and stupid, and you don't have to even use the lights. Or the Ashley armor. Don't look back. Don't look back. There is only one, only one place where Ashley armor is useful. <laughs> Maybe it will help you in here a little bit more on professional. Oh no, they are terrifying. have to ring some bells. The easiest way in which you can do it on any difficulty is one on the right, one on the left, second one on the left, and second one on the right. Or on professional you can go to the far right before the far left because it's blocked with those wooded walls maybe they're not made of wood but whatever Now we got all the treasures in the Ashley section. The heck? I've never actually looked around in here. I guess there is not much to see. It's just a tomb. Now we run and we don't look back. The game will force your camera to look back. So you can just look back. And keep your camera there. If you're playing on professional, you can try to avoid these knights. But if you have the armor, you don't have to worry about it. So now we don't have the light anymore, so we have to be a little bit more careful. And this is the place where Ashley armor is actually useful. Because you can get stuck on this guy. And he might kill you because Ashley only takes one hit to kill. So what you can do is you can lure this guy down and go to the left. And he wasn't even close.
those two guys don't have enough time to hit you if you just run. So unless you just walk very slowly. Take it down. I can catch you. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't think so. Leon loses Ashley again. Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Now I want to go back to the merchant and definitely want to buy the recipe for heavy grenades because they are going to be very useful. I'll set the spin also for now. And now we have more backtracking to do. We can take this right. We also could go back there with Ashley. And she would say, hope you don't get car sick. And Leon says, I well, you're about to find out. And we never found out. But it looks like he doesn't. Also, if you have the expanded treasure map DLC, 
There should be a crown in this room. Or the room where we came from. Now, if you backtrack this on harder difficulty, which you shouldn't, a flash grenade might be useful. Read all this just for one cubic device treasure. I think we can also backtrack here a lot later Because we will have to backtrack again With one more small key Some new goods that might interest you. Also, once we get to this room for the first time, we can try to get more shooting ranges done. Welcome. I got something new for And you. I think when we unlock them all, I will try to go through I'll them at least once each. Anything. A deal well struck. It good is new. Well, don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> and from this point until the rest of the game, we will need five heavy grenades. There should be a rat. I'm sorry, little one. Now we can loot Ashley's section. Get all of the breakables. Get the knights. We don't have to kill the knights, but they drop spinels. So might as well. Also, they actually don't care about you. Almost at all.
There might be more breakables, so just look around. And I should have went down instead. Now I get the cat. I'll unlock the shortcut right now, even though I don't know if I need it. But it's better to have it and not need it, than need it and not have it. This was one tough chandelier. Oh, there is a big tough guy down there. He might not even be worth it. Because it takes a lot of ammo to kill. Normally. Take out the small knights. Get some space. Let him swing down. And shoot his back. That was not enough. A fully upgraded Killer 7 shot in his crit was not enough to expose the parasite. Or maybe I missed. That looked like I didn't. There is a lot of loot in here. I wish I could kill those knights. Maybe I can, I never tried. No. Now we can go up. I almost never loot this section. Because it is so annoying to get around. If you're playing on any difficulty which is n that is not professional, you don't have to save manually ever, even between the chapters. You just get so many auto saves, like every couple of minutes. So just don't bother. Unless you want to get to a specific point in the game. So, for example, saving between uh, saving before the fish boss saving before the last shooting range so you, you can come back so saving before the achievement sections this is what I did in one playthrough I just got unassisted I just got all the checkpoints I needed yeah. 
those fish will respawn every chapter. So maybe we can even come back here one more time after this. And fish do heal a lot, but they take a lot of space. But I know I will probably get damaged soon. Probably in the next room. In the next new room, so I might as well get some fish. Make some flash grenades, they'll be useful in the next room as well. One more thing that we can use only in the game plus, if you still have problems with some enemies, is the bioscope. Care of a request. <laughs> Good stuff. Got some rare things on crossing your T's, dotting your with pleasant travels. If we put on a bioscope, we can see everything that's warm, I guess. So if you look carefully, you can see. This is stealing, this is stealing, and this is a guy, this is an enemy. You can see them with the infrared scope, and you can take them down. They think the scopes are Fucking terrible monsters. up close. Now I can just run. Those flies can drop self fires, which are worth 4000 each. So it might be profitable to kill them. There is another node. And here is one of the worst rooms in the game as well. So this red guy. You can clearly see this is an enemy. Wow Ramon, you are really slacking on your pest control. Stun the flies with fl with flash grenades. You can stun them and kill them with normal grenades as well. But flash grenades have much bigger radius. You can also easily parry these guys. And it will give you a window to attack as well. But parrying a professional might be difficult. I definitely was not able to parry every single attack on professional. I'll send this to storage. Where is this fly? Whatever. 
One down. Was I not able to pet it? What the hell? Those enemies do take more damage from headshots. The worst part is that they like to hide around the corners. So, camouflage is not enough. Corners are not enough, but if you combine it, it might be just too late for you. And they can get a hit in. Get the ruby. Those flies, the I think Navista doors, don't have a lot of HP. You can kill them with the handgun easily. They are just extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. And this is why I went for fish. If it was professional, I would be dead. I think now we fully looted the ballroom. So now we can get the hell away. Now we can just jump down. If you are playing on professional, I would highly recommend you save before going into the ballroom. So before going into the bug room. Just go and save. Because not only the bug room can be very difficult, but this room is even worse. So back to back. Now we have two blind guys. There's two of them. What's even worse is a bunch of enemies. So what we want to do is we want to ring the bell. I said ring the goddamn bell.
On professional, that would be just a restart. Ring the bell. Throw one grenade. Heavy grenades. Two heavy grenades. Three heavy grenades. Dead, dead. On professional, if they are not dead, they are very close. You can stun them with the flash grenades because they are sensitive to sounds. I don't have enough space. Just I can get some more flash grenades. Also, I think this is one of the very few rooms that have actual infinite enemies until you kill those two garadors. And the longer you take, the harder the enemies become. So they will get shields, they will get better uh, weapons and whatnot. So just get grenades, get heavy grenades. And kill them as soon as possible. This is where we use three heavy grenades, even on professional, just to make it easy. Keep in mind, on professional, there is only one bell. On assisted and standard, you also get this bell. Bell in this corner, in this corner. So there is a bell. On professional, you only get this one. And that's it. So if you lose this bell, you lose it. Ashley! Leon, stop! No! Don't come any closer! Are you hurt? Watch out! No! Please! To continue. Do not resist, my dear. It serves only to make your suffering all the worse. You sick! Despedimos, señor Kennedy. Hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Terrible trap. Also, terrible cutscene. One of the worst in the game, if not the worst. <clears throat> Talk about sticking the landing. I don't care that people say that uh. Ashley is useless. I really like Ashley. Especially when she has armor, but even without it, she is still great. You can also... You can always use Ashley as a tool. 
if she is getting carried away, there is one less enemy that is focused on you. And you can come up to this enemy and knife them in the neck, which will immediately dispose of them. So in this section, Bioscope is useful as well. <coughs> or at least it should be. Or maybe it's not, never mind. I guess they are in super, super stealth mode, or they just spawn in front of you. If you are not playing on professional, this section is super easy. Just spam your parry button when you go through it. Especially when you start seeing the ice. Just start pressing the button and just run. You see it, you press it, you run. You can kill them while they are stunned from the parry. But you really don't have to. But you can if you don't want to get damaged. Now here, make sure you grab the crown. This is the most expensive treasure in the game. You can use all the five colors of gems, so you don't use a ruby, and it will be worth 100,000. Or you can use three reds, three, uh, two yellows, and it will be worth even more. But it's not worth doing it with all the reds, especially on a new game, not a new game plus. Because even if you get 8k more from this treasure, you're losing out on more expensive gems and more expensive combinations in other treasures. So generally I don't recommend it. Because it doesn't make sense financially. And I don't have space again. I'll just send the scope to storage. Don't skip this treasure, it has the big red gem. And now we're getting ready for another boss fight. That might interest you. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. A lot of the times here oh you would just buy a rocket launcher anything. to dispose of the difficult boss. Kinda difficult boss. There is way too many flash grenades. <laughs> Thank good luck to you, stranger. Well then, what can I do you for? Come back any time. You should also make a save here, first of all, because the boss can kill you on professional, and because there is multiple trophies for this next encounter. If you don't want to use a rifle or a magnum, which you should use the broken butterfly, makes the boss easier and I think even speedrunners use it on the boss if they are not using the rocket launcher you can just kill it with a shotgun or a sniper rifle if you are a god or if you are playing on PC also for a sniper rifle you can do Like the pause cancel. So you just pause frequently to line up your shots. Me. 
Those attacks are incredibly easy to evade. Especially, you kinda know when you get to the place where you can be attacked. Now I won't run here, and it comes up to you. You, you shower it. Shoot a couple times. Get it on the ground. And unload. For me, it's almost so dead. Hide and seek, is that it? Sometimes you can even get it in one shower. If you want to use a rocket launcher, just wait until it's frozen, line up the shots, hit it. You can even shoot the grounds. But on a professional difficulty, it would be a very expensive boss kill. Since it costs. 160k Well, hello there It should be about that. Yep, it's dead Finally some peace and quiet my condolences to your master. I did not expect this guy to pop up right now. Maybe it is because I wanted to go to this room. There is a ton of loads in here. Which can just fill up your inventory. Right now if you don't have space for loads. You can send your weapons to storage. You'll be able to pick it up before the next confrontation with enemies. We are four hours in. And on standard, you only get 5 hours to get an S rank, which I am definitely not going to get. Your suffering came in, just as it has from his daughter. Who has joined us in communion? And now she is of our flesh, of our blood. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. Deliver to these vagrant children their salvation. As you wish. I'll make it cheap for you. This also might be a good spot to save on professional if you don't want to redo this fight. But if you save before this fight, you don't save after it because you don't have enough saves. You only get 15 saves for 60 Getting chapters. Better. Yeah, seems like it worked. Bad news? All we've done is buy you some time. Suppressant's effects will wear off all too soon. You ready to go? Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panther! 
Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You gotta hurt yourself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, that was rude. Buddy, I get it. Why help me though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd welcome. I've got something new for you. <laughs> Thank you. A deal well struck. Crossing your will come back any time. Now at this point we might we might want to upgrade the knife. And we might want to buy a rocket launcher. A little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. Oh, you heard, huh? Umbrella's done for. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? I just want to feel good about myself. Make amends. Or something like that. When was this a dead end? This used to lead to the exit. If you have a rocket launcher, you can shoot this rock and skip the section ahead, which was difficult for me because I'm stupid. Looks like we've got company. What do you want to do? I think I'll just chill in here. The door on the lower floor is locked. So I am almost safe here. I can also not get hit by the dynamite. And if the chainsaw guy comes in, I can escape. Dynamite. Get the super Omega loot crate. Unlock the door. And I'll go back up. To loot all the enemies. Oh! Wait! I thought it was Louise! I actually thought that this grandma was Louise. Standing next to me. This is why I was so chill about it. Leon! Shut up. Use this. Mm, okay, fun. just shut up. There is two treasures in this area which we don't want to skip. Oh, 
Look out for two more and one more enemies here. Quick work of that dead end. And now we can blow it up normally. At this point, you can go back to the merchants. Once you put up dynamites, you cannot do it anymore. So if your body armor is damaged, if your knife is damaged... You handle yourself pretty well. You sure you're just a researcher? I'm just an average guy who happens to be quite the ladies man. <laughs> Jump scare warning. Just in case. After you, I insist. Such a gentleman. Now you owe me. Please, heads up! Always like this with you. Oh yeah. Now there is a couple of ways to go about it. First, the rocket launcher. Second, stun them and dunk them. And the last one is to kill them both, which is not recommended, unless you have some sort of infinite ammo, or you are ready to get some to use some heavy grenades and magnum ammo. What we can do is we can throw stun grenades, so, uh, flash grenades, and go dunk one of them immediately, which I'm not going to do because I want gems from them. But I'll still throw a flash. Now you can wait for Louis to go around and get the dynamites, which is probably going to happen. Unless you have the infinite magnum. Shouldn't take this long. Here we go. Now Liz is going to be mad. Leon! Over here! What? You didn't leave any for me? Oh yeah! I think we can get through here! Now we can send Luis here and get the loot while he's opening the door. How's it look? Usually in boss areas the barrels are much more stacked. So we can get like three pieces of loot. And you are more likely to get ammo and better ammo. So like not handgun ammo or but shotgun, magnum, sniper rifle ammo. Well, that was the drops also depend on dynamic difficulty. 
underground here is sacred. But it doesn't really matter much on professional. So there is like an invisible dude. Of course they did. There is an invisible difficulty slider from like one to ten. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. It goes down when you die, when you take damage, when you miss shots. And the opposite results in this difficulty slider going up. So if you just go through the game flawlessly, don't take damage, and hit everybody with a headshot, you will get less ammo and you will deal less damage to enemies. And the opposite is true. And on assisted difficulty, it's 1 to 3. On standard is 4 to 6. Hardcore it's 7 to 9, and professional is always at 10. So if you have problems with just going through the game, if you're not going to forward time, if you just die a couple of times, the game will become easier, and you'll just get through it. Popular like three rights. This is also a very annoying section. If you get through it without taking damage, you'll get another trophy, so you should save before that. The most important part is to wait until your crosshair becomes less. Don't spam your shots. Unless you have to. And obviously you lean to the right and to the left and he tells you And when you see the sparks lean the opposite way You can use the explosive barrels Shoot the guy with dynamite. You can shoot him, no, don't have to shoot the dynamite. This is just one more section which is not enjoyable on repeated playthroughs. I forgot about a couple of days, but there should be one more Castellan right here. In last chapter there was one just before the Verdugo fights, before the freeze chamber. He was in the pipe right next to the merchant. You should listen around for the sounds they make. All right, let's go. That will help you find them. Oh, not this again. 
Well, let's just look up a 15 minute guide on YouTube. Now, the second section is a lot more difficult. So, you always lean into the turn. And we have to make sure we shoot this guy. Not even the guy himself, but his card. I'm about to get shot. That's not good. Oh yeah, that's, that's bad. I might die here. I might actually die here. Especially if I miss the battles, which I will. Now here we want to look up to a set of rails and shoot the closer barrels. Oh, I got it! I might be okay. He is cooked. If you cannot shoot the card of this guy enough, or the chance of guy, you can shoot his head. It will stun him for a while. The guys on the right should not even shoot you. And now just have to not fail the turns and switching the lanes. It should be super easy. So pretty much safe for the minecart section. And it's done. Look, Still as annoying as ever. Ahead. You Hit the brick. What? Are you serious? Classic. Sancho! Uh, whatever. Oh, man. Huh. But actually... You can save it here. Oh, yeah. But we don't need Let's to. That lift. Now... This is another re uh, request. Shoot the hives. Shoot the yellow for certain things. Oh, I knew it! Stay sharp! These guys have camouflage! Hmm. No way. Give me a break. We can make it if we circle around. Come on. How do you know that? Here once again on New Game Plus, but a sense of scope can come in handy. Or you can just run. Here is the, the request to get rid of the hives. Here we can shoot the barrel. 
you open fire instead of your mouth. Also, to parry these guys, you want to make sure that you're looking... Always look in the direction of the enemy. So, don't... Don't do it like this. You cannot parry from the back. Which kinda makes sense. At this point you probably have enough sapphires to finish every treasure in the game with them, which is not a bad option. And I'll ju do just this. Keep in mind that if you kill the enemy, which is not above ground, you will not get the loot. How is this one alive? Now we want to fix up to fix up the so west <laughs> nice work. and fix oh, up the knife new. Good is new. and upgrade the knife. Upgrade power as high as you can. Now we'll sell the treasures and the use of ammo. Valuables won't do you much good in the grave. And the kitchen knife. get an exclusive upgrade tickets, which I will not, because I will take some There's gold some tokens later. Money can't come back anytime. If you have it, Primal Knife would be your best friend. If you have the Fighting Knife from previous playthrough, even better, because it does a ton of damage. risk your life like this. You don't know us. I told you. It makes me feel better. Be straight with me for once. Los Illuminados. I was working for them. See? There you go. Helping the two of you doesn't make up for it. I know that. But still, I don't want anyone else to get hurt. In that case, you better get serious. Harsh words for a squire. We're out of that hellhole. Fresh air is sculling our names. For fin. Gus, we made it all this way. You know it means we're almost... Almost what? 
Stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Ashley, it was oh, you. Catch him quick. Didn't I teach you? Knives are faster. One thing that you can do here, you can go to extras, well what you could have done before this fight is switch from cat ears to antlers which increases the knife damage. Are you being controlled by that cult? This has nothing to do with that. I'm a free man who made a choice. <laughs> What we want to make sure is we want to melee him as much as possible. It's better than hitting him with a knife. Honestly, if you spam, for example, on console the L1 and the R2 button, you cannot lose. Even unprofessional. Changed a damn bit. <laughs> what a disappointment. <laughs> I'm not looking good, eh, my friend? And such a loss to the ladies of the world. Truly, don't talk. Go there and remove those damn parasites. <coughs> Help <coughs> Ashley. This is so sad. I love Luis. Leon, 
There's only time to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Ah, uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful? Yeah, you should. Now, under no circumstances, get in this card. Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> we have a few things that we have to do right now. We get the final small key. Let me check my inventory, it's fine. It's almost empty. Look out for bugs. Looks like it's alright. Get a flash grenade ready. And throw it right in the middle of the room. This could get out of control if you let the parasites tell. Uh, if you let the parasites and take the bodies, they can become a pain in your butt. So we're trying to prevent this with a flash grenade as much as possible. Now here, I might have trolled myself. So I'll just sit here for a minute and hope that I will get an egg from the chicken. Welcome. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Not bad. That's good work if I do 
say come back any time. Now this is the last time that we have to backtrack for a treasure, or at least in the castle. I don't remember how to get back. That's not the right way. For some reason, there are enemies here. I want to see how far can I go back. I don't think I can back... Oh wait, can I? No way, right? Can I go back? I can? Are you kidding me? I did not know that it was possible to go all the way back. That's insane. I am confused and flabbergasted. I did not know you can go back this way.
and that you can only go back this late. I guess this way works too. Wow. I'm very glad that I decided to do this playthrough as well. You have the stench of battle on you, mate. This is the final small key treasure. I think it would be faster to go this way. Absolutely. Yeah, we get there from the courtyard. And now I can get some fish as well. So now we have only five treasures left, and they're all in the watch in the clock tower. Is someone here? I might give them a present as well. No more bugs. <laughs> Welcome. Got a selection of good goodies new. Thank you. Rubbish, it makes not a deal well struck. <laughs> well, don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> now we can go to the tower and finish with the castle. 
There's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Before going there, make sure you have your vest, your knife, your weapons in order. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder! That was a parry. I've never seen that happen. This what is what usually happens. This statue is about to start spitting flames. If we want, if we don't want this to happen, just shoot the barrel. And we get the treasure from the ceiling. I did not make it, and here I go, too greedy. Well, if you are in this situation, you want to quit game and st continue from there. But I am not trying to get an S+, plus. I am not trying to get an S. Leon could squeeze to the side. Don't try to go too fast. You really know how to make someone feel welcome. Can I make it? Mm, maybe not. Now I don't want to risk it. Just wait for it. Unlucky.
Now we can use it to our advantage. Twice. Just to make sure. And finish the stragglers. Now we only have one treasure left and it's up top. Now what is about to happen? Is we're about to get on that lift. A red guy that summoned the parasites is about to come right here and we need to shoot him. And we need to keep everybody off the lift, so if you have a shotgun or an SMG on you use that, but if you jump fast enough and pull the switch, the red guy will get hit by the ball. Lift. How thoughtful. Sounds like I was not fast enough. Keep looking around. Don't let them jump. If you kill them fast enough, the lift will not stop. And if you don't let them climb up, you'll get an achievement for it. Wait, compliance. I do not have a scope on me, sadly. Make sure you don't run on this... those boards. Because you will die. And now we have all the treasures in the castle. That yellow diamond was the last one. And I did not miss any. Welcome, Wilden. What can I do? Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. 
A deal well struck. <laughs> I can certainly do some. My now, what I want you to do is heal to full. We should have at least one golden egg. And we want to save here. Wanna take care of any leftover errands before going. You want to slowly and carefully equip the egg. Don't eat it accidentally. And so, I have delivered the girl to you as promised. Do tell our lord to not forget the loyalty of his servant, Ramon. <clears throat> Ashley! We are... Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with lords and lords. You talk too much. You failed! <laughs> you vulgar! Oh, no. Nice shot. Allow me to show you that which has been granted by my master, the power of the God. Stage is set for the final. Now, we have to be really careful, and we have to hit this, his white body with the egg. You are nothing but and now we want to throw a grenade in his mouth. This is just for an extra achievement. This, this fight can be actually difficult. Without the egg. Or you can shoot this guy with a rocket launcher. But this is not recommended because you can just use this. Now I can just collect the loot and be done with the castle. To lose. The castle is probably the longest part of the game. Especially if you try to get all the treasures. Usually, if you want to get SRS Plus, you spend the most time in the village. Because you are trying to set up yourself for the castle. If you are playing on professional, in here you have to be careful. Even right after the boss fight. Because there will be armored knights, the armaduras. One will be right here and one will and one will be before that. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Ah, damn it. 
looking for something? Might as well take advantage of the pause timer. Get more flail grenades. Now the golden eggs are useless. You can sell them, eat them, save for a nigger plus. If you want to, for example, next time just kill this guy with two eggs, which is completely possible, even in a new game. something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident. The world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. <laughs> you... Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. So here's my question. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. Story of my life. Now, on the islands, I think I'll just try to get through the game a bit, of, a bit faster. We are five hours in, so it's too late for S rank on standard already. If it was professional, I'd have 30 minutes, which is not enough. Here we can take a little skip. But I want to go to the merchant anyway. Some new good welcome. Got some rare things on sale. Now here we would be able to buy the Killer Seven Magnum. <laughs> Thank you. I might be able to actually buy the rocket launcher by the end of it. Thank you. We'll come back anytime. There is some loot and files back there. And I guess I might as well go there. Now enemies are a lot tougher and have a lot better weapons, much better weapons. Now we are going to drop down because of some unknown reasons. I was at the top of the ladder and now I'm not.
you go into those lasers, you are dead. There is no way around it. Well, there is, but it's also very inconsistent. And these dudes who just died was one of the few ways around the death rays of the turrets. You can try to push an enemy into the turret and they will take the fire for you. But if you try to do this, make sure you stand behind the enemy. Now a lot more enemies have plug us inside. They are a lot more aggressive. I got the treasure in here. There was a way. So when this uh, big guy with an animal head comes out. He was just standing there usually. And the turret is right there. So you could just get close to him, bait him for a kick into the turrets and get behind him. I don't know if it was patched. It looks like it to me. Because he's just not doing it anymore. Ever. I think I said there was discovered. So that was another chance to get three enemies killed stealthily. Launchers can one shot you on professional. So I don't see any treasures, so I can just run past all of that. Shoot the barrel. Get hits with a shock rod. But now I can just run past. Now I take a lot more damage, and I'm on. 
standard really difficulty. Nasty. Well, good thing I have some fish left. <laughs> now I can run up the stairs, but we actually don't really want to do that. Take down the rocket launcher guy. There is also a sneaky collectible right here. But mainly there is a crown. Now I want to go up the stairs, now is the ladder. Shoot this guy, I don't have to kill him. I just want to bait enemies into the trap. Unlock the door. Go around, get the barrel. And get the treasure. You can also save here. Now, if we didn't go for this crate, we could just go up the ladder, get in the door, and those guys would not catch up to us. Or you can use the ladder to your advantage. Just shoot them down. There is this sneaky guy in the dark waiting for us. Those electric guys are the worst. They stun you for a very long time.
Get the grenades. Go to the left. Get the free fish. Get the free egg. Why not treat this? Which is usually here. Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? Ruby's all buying. It makes no selling. difference. The price, well, that's our choice to make. Good work, if I do say so myself. God bless it. Travels. Get some free healing from the egg. Now, <laughs> go back immediately. Hello, stranger. And don't forget the scope. Specifically, this scope. Because we'll get it later in this section. Get the expensive gem and the gunpowder and the heal. And now get ready with a scope, which you don't have yet. Or pull out a shotgun or a knife, at least a knife. Press the buttons and see what works, honestly. There definitely is some logic in there. But I don't use it. Christ. What kind of experiments are they doing here? Nothing good. So with the bioscope, you can see the parasites, or you can shoot his legs and arms, or you can slice them open if you are not bad enough, <laughs> if you are not that bad in the game. Why can I not parry this guy? Aim for the parasites. Now they are probably the most dangerous when they are on the grounds. If they are on the grounds, just run away. Still good. 
I will take a heal. Now I want to switch the power. So now there is a guy in this bag. And there is some treasure here. Oh my god. I will try to do a pro gamer move. I don't know if it will work. Now we have to wait until the keycard upgrades to the next tier. And there is another regenerator. Shit, again? Now what I will try to do is this. Because he he will just wait for us, right? No, I needed to go here. That doesn't make sense. Well, there is probably nothing good. The top one is blocked. That's a, that would def definitely not work. How do I get power to the right one? This would not work. This would not work. This would not work. So only have two options in this position. It's this or the next one. And this would not work, because now the power goes nowhere. So it's the only possible position in there. Now I have to make it go to the right.
this doesn't make sense. So this would make the most sense. But still, one is left. Okay, I don't care anymore. So we can just wait it out. We can also shoot his leg and let him crawl. And when he will jump on at us, we'll just use the bag. Now we can just chill and run away. Or... What is done? Not recommended on professional. Two is done. I swear I'm pressing the button. And he's dead. It's not even that hard. The first one went a lot better. And I don't have any fish left. Should I just eat a golden egg? I might as well. I've never done it before. Now go down. This is our upgraded keycard. So sometime in here the enemies just are too late. So now they don't exist. And now they do. And they don't go up the stairs. So use it if you need to. Take the glass, get the loot, get the loot from the table, from the left side. Now this is where we get the bioscope. This is supposed to be the biosensor scope. So now we can just put it on. Craft some heals. Craft some flash grenades. To get some space. And now we need a wrench to unlock this thing. Need a wrench to get this it's open. And it's in inside one of these guys. Not this guy. Not this guy. Not this guy. This guy. So a sniper rifle will take parasites in one shot. Or any rifle, including the Outer rifle, the assault rifle. So we li we'll line up like this, and we take two parasites in one. Hopefully, no, I missed. 
And Surge Generator is done. You can also take out these guys. Especially if we want to get the achievement for two parasites. That did not work. I would suggest you do it with a better rifle. So basically with a default rifle. You can also restart the last checkpoint to get a better spawn. You can also do it with a magnum. <coughs> that did not work as well. Also, every time you shoot a limb off, you'll get a little stun, and if he's on the ground, run. You can also one-shot them with the rocket launcher, or you can sh just shoot them until they're dead, but this will take a lot of ammo. They will stand up after two lunges. Well, I lied. Come on, stand up. Well, don't break your knife. Also, they have an absurd amount of HP, and they regenerate it quite fast. But every time you destroy parasites, it gets slower, and they cannot regenerate the parasites. So if there is only one parasite left, it's not a big deal to just shoot it until it dies. Present for you. You can use stun grenades. To keep these guys under control. You're serious. You get a key card. If there is a lot of them alive, you can throw another grenade. There you go. And you're gone. And you're good. And you're done. Both. Oh, I have a boot knife. You can see how much slower it is compared to the combat knife. Ashley. Shit.
Well, this doesn't make sense with armor. You're gonna be okay. This was chapter 13. And now I have to take a little break. Sadly, my controller ran out of battery. Might as well use the typewriter. Well, we don't have gunpowder to craft. Okay. Hopefully I'll just be done with the game soon. Open it from the other side. I'm pretty much a master of unlocking. Now all the shooting galleries are av available, so I will definitely make a save right here. Welcome. Or you can wait until new game plus. Good luck to you, stranger. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. I'll buy it at a high price. Will that be all pleasant? Travels. You can see how slow it is. And this is why we use the combat knife.
you. Oh, I could not block this one. Well, that was very stupid of me. Now he gets out to save. This section can be a little bit difficult because of how stupid the enemy AI is and how Ashley works without the armor. Because Ashley can get carried away into a non existent door, which will result in game over. So the enemy that tries to carry Ashley away just spawns up here and there is nothing you can do about it. He will try to jump through the window and he will just chill here. But you should have enough time. This is bad. Come on, Ashley, I'm waiting for you. We go at the same time, yeah. This puzzle also changes with difficulty. On professional it goes super fast. And on assisted it goes super super slow. Now there is another puzzle just like this. There is also a regenerator in here, which I wonder if I, if I can see this guy. I cannot. You can just take care of him the normal way, or make him go around. Now, we are waiting for this guy to get back up. And then the shooting head. What the fuck? Die, you stubborn son of a bitch. And now we hide. Jesus, 
And this was an Iron Maiden. Ashley. Kay. You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm good. Okay. Get this for me. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at this stuff. Now there should be another rat. Now we have to be careful in this section because there is a regenerator in this piece of trash, in this pile of trash. And when this, once we pull this lever down, four enemies are going to come out of here. Maybe five on professional, maybe always five. If we don't go back to Ashley, we can just safely dispose of them. The last guy has a bulletproof vest. Once we see four pieces of loot, we're good. Ashley, are you alright? Now yeah. there is a regenerator right here. And now... We don't want this dude to touch Ashley, because she is holding the bridge down for us. If Ashley gets taken, it will take her... A bit of time to get the bridge back up, so we don't want this to happen. And if she didn't have armor, I would be screwed. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. And now, we want to get a flash grenade ready. It's not necessary, but useful. And now we need two heavy grenades. Or a locket launcher. Or, apparently, a striker shotgun.
I don't know if it's true or not. But I will try to use it. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I'll eat a fish. And I should have enough space for it. Striker shotgun. For some reason, it can it just destroy a wall. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Ruby's sells all ammo. She makes no difference. Don't sell all the flash grenades. That's our choice to make. A deal well struck. <laughs> Easy work. Come back any time. I don't think you have to upgrade it as well. Now we don't want to catch Ashley because she will show us an extra cutscene, usually. A wrecking ball. I got this. You're serious. What they teach kids in school these days? Have you never heard of driver's ed? Get back. You do want to make a save before this section because there is an achievement to get five enemies killed with the wrecking ball, and they don't die in one hit. Our friends to me. Flesh. And then he wants to throw two heavy grenades right at this wall. I would, what I will try. Should do the same. And it did! And it's kinda cool that it works. Now we just want to wait for the lifts and get rid of the enemies. I don't want the scope right now. Come on! Kills the bugs. Did you see me? That was awesome. I think you might have found your calling. Now there should be a lot of loot in this arena. Now all the containers are open. And now I want to go back to finish the request for the merchants. The best way to do it is definitely 
to equip the bioscope. We can, we can leave Ashley what? in here. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is her first time hiding in the, in the game. Now we definitely want the bioscope. You'll see why. Now here is this guy. I don't think it is possible to knife him. It just bounces back. And he has a lot of parasites. So, what I will do first, you know, I will take off the scope and I will just unload. And I will, now I will put it back. Oh, and he's dead? Already? Well, that was easy. But keep in mind, I'm using a rifle, which takes sniper ammo, and it took over 30 on standard difficulty. So it might not be worth it. Yeah, no sweat. Definitely do it at least once for an achievement, and just for yourself. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Got some plit. I think I will start doing the normal colors. Zintrap. Welcome. It still sells for a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Sells so the resources. Ammo. Thank you. Come back any time. And we're good. And now let's see the requests. There is only one more left, so we done seventeen out of eighteen in this playthrough. And it's almost six hours long. And we don't have much left. You know, I... I was thinking... We work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the US from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way. I'm sorry for interrupting the scope. First, we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. This must be what Luis was talking about. I don't mind if he was talking about this. Providence and soon. Such profound blessing for all. Lost planet. Welcome, my children. I am Osman Sadler, the speaker for our Lord. Tell someone who gives a shit. 
foolish lambs. Why do you deny grief? Now, abandon your body. Obey. Obey the voice of our Lord. No! Sweet child, do not resist. <laughs> Pray forgive these wicked sinners. My faithful disciples shall deliver to you your penance. Now, child. You need not be afraid. Submit your body and release yourself from fear. Unless he can teleport, he should have waited a little bit longer. If we want to be safe, we can kill this guy. If we don't, we could just go in with flash grenade. There is some loot. Now I can just slash these guys and run past. Or I can just do this, this, and this. Get the treasure and all the loot around. Once again, I have way too many flash grenades, so I can just chuck grenades at every enemy. I have way too many flash grenades and don't need large resources anymore. Right here, if you just have way too much loot, you can send it to storage, it's right here. You're in for a treat. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Easy work. Ruth. 
rubies or rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, that's our choice. I will sell 10 grenades, some heavy grenades, some hand grenades, so I'll sell a boot knife. Stranger, Ooh, come back any time. And I'll take back the rifle. I should have plenty of heals. Make sure you have your knife ready. And upgrade it if possible. And if you're not unprofessional or hardcore, you can buy a rocket launcher to make this easier. I've been waiting for you, uh, rookie. Yeah, I've noticed. Worried about the girl, is that it? That's just like you. You always had poor judgment. <laughs> but if you think I'm gonna let you out of here alive, you're even more naive than I thought. You can't save her. You can't save anyone. Give it up, Krauser. Being a lackey for these maniacs won't bring your men back. And what the hell for? Revenge on the government? You think they would want that? Revenge. You think I'm doing all this for revenge? Isn't that what this is all about? See, in that jungle, I had a revelation. The most important thing in this world is pure, unadulterated power. Those Illuminados have given me that. You know, you were always an asshole. <laughs> but at least you had some kind of code. Some honor. And look at you now. Enough reminiscing. Move out and draw fire, soldier! <laughs> <laughs> Now you can engage in knife combat or just shoot this guy. It would also help if you bought uh, Killer7 Magnum for this fight. Mainly because of the laser. It helps a lot. Because doing this, for example, with a broken battle shot with the second Magnum. Broken Butterfly is just so much harder. You remember the fight in the jungle? We barely made it out alive. Go with your gut, don't think. That was the first thing you taught me. Have your handgun ready for this. Shoot the trap. Hide behind the pillar. What you can do is uh, to go around faster, it just throw a grenade. Otherwise, you have to go around with traps, with turrets, with all of that. You all the way around. How can I forget? Come out, but don't don't get shot. What was that? Keep on the left on the stairs. I admit, you've done well to stay alive this long. I'd be 
be dead if I kept listening to people like you. Don't get too greedy with this. The Reaper comes for cowards and the careless alike. Which are you? I don't know. Guess I'll ask when I see. If he if he hides, you're good to go. And then you have to go back. Now get ready to shoot this guy. This is it, soldier! If he runs away to this place, you're good. Are we done here, Krauser? I told you. Again. And again. You're too soft to do what's necessary. That's the difference between you and me. That's a rough landing. Time to finish your training. Witness the power. Now we get to parry. You've lost it completely, Crowder. Around this corner. Congratulations on your newfound faith. And here, if you get a perfect parry, he will say a different thing. Now we wait. You don't have to shoot it here. Now it's time for the last phase. Oh shit! Not so fast, Rookie. Training's not done. Last lesson starts right now. <laughs> Time for the teacher to be taught. Oh, such confidence. Free it, rookie! What was that? Are you ready, rookie? Yeah. Let's set this. You're still too slow. There you did, Major. There you did. Ah, 
I love this cutscene. The way they switch. The Krauser, who basically only called Leon a rookie. And Leon, who called him Krauser, now calls him Major. Krauser trying to show that he still has some humanity left in him, even after this. Beautiful. Krauser tried Leon. Now the bridge is up and the Krauser is left behind. And the teacher was indeed taught. I love this game. Playing it once, or even a few times, is a wonderful experience. If you don't just go That's for the Platinum, it's just great. Ashley. But Platinum is an absolute chore. Their defenses are no joke. Yeah, that's true. Some new items in welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Thank you. That's good work. I do say so. so if I get a little bit more money Stranger Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. And I can get that an infinite in rocket launcher. For your life. Easy choice, mate. <laughs> well now. Time to cause some mayhem! Yeah. Any to come back, any time. And now put it away. Because it's too easy to use. Or maybe. Well, I'll have it on my person. That's not what I mean. Yeah. Finally.
I don't know if I need air support with this one. So if you're unprofessional, what you want to do? Go in, go out. Wait for Mike. was a bad idea. So you can shoot at this rocket launcher, or go right here, throw a grenade, a heavy grenade to be exact, or a few normal grenades. <laughs> Did our rockets collide? What the hell? And if we want to do this segment normally without the intended skip, we would have to go all the way around. Might as well get this. Open the door back. And now go up and up and up and up and up. All the freaking way. What took you so long? Higher and higher and higher. And here it is. And with that, you can shoot the gun. Or whoever was inside. The rocket almost s uh, slows it down, because if you shoot too close, you'll get this animation and get staggered, which is not great. But in this action, it would definitely help you, because of how dense it is with enemies.
also in here you have you will definitely have a lot of flash grenades so might as well use them Big guy shows up. Yeah, the mouth is away. Get another flash grenade ready. just have to get, get inside as fast as you can. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. Now we've done all the requests. Now we can put back on the bioscope. We don't have to fight any of those guys, but we can. 
There is a treasure in this room. Also, I'm not sure if this guy is an Iron Maiden. He is not, thankfully. This is an Iron Maiden. Oh no. Is it still alive? It is! It is! Here is a snake. You can just run past those regenerators. So we keep this side. And the other one is not even in the way. Here is your last chance to get through the shooting range. I'll buy it at a high price. A deal well struck. <laughs> well, let's get some tokens. <laughs> let's see what Charles we can get. I know, I say that a lot, but I mean it. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. An interesting choice. Oh, I mean it in a good way, of course. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Got come back any time. That's nice. Let's see, maybe I can get the striker one, which I never got. That's not bad. Why are they all for healing?
Well, that's a dupe from all the golds as well. This just was nine spinels for a dupe of one of the worst charms in the game. That's great. I will try to do one more. Late. Okay. Let's try again. Immediately. I'm way too close to my screen right now. Not even close. I already have this one. It's also a dupe. This place is tough. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, he is stunned. No, but he did not get me. And now I can just run away. Throw a flash grenade. And I died. That's how not to do this sector. That's how not to do this area. Hey, 
Almost there. I'm coming. for you. And that is the correct way how to do this area. And now that you're being chased, you can throw another flash grenade. The run when I died actually pissed me off a little bit. Ashley! Maybe not even a little. Or you can use infant grenade launcher. But I can shoot them all. Be done with it. <laughs> you have come, my child. What do you want? I simply wish to share this gift with as many as possible. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts. Are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? Like she did. Sutler! <laughs> ah, yes, the time has come. For this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt all and let it be done. Leon! Go! Thanks, Sada.
Now, another terrible part of the game, which only lasts for two minutes, but feels like two hours. Laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. difference Just a little warning, this next cutscene might be a little bit disturbing and hard to watch, so you might want to look away. You go first. No way. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. Well, I guess it was not as bad as I remember. We can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Yeah. Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. So, all of this 
Removing the parasites. This was the weeks. Yeah. We're alive. Thanks to him. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. Good at that. Right? You sure you're okay? Uh, never been better. Good. Sure, she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Sounds like you know her well. Hey, wait, Leon! It looks like I did miss a couple of treasures. Really? One here? One was behind the door in the freezer. And one was somewhere else. Okay, so we're on the Krauser fight. Welcome! Got a selection of good thick you that the care it deserves, mate. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Oh, he's, oh, no, the snake is quite fresh. I thought I still got a snake from like, the castle. <laughs> Thank you. Now we can just buy a rocket launcher. Anything might want to take care of any leftover errands. Ada! 
Uf. Just get the flare grenade. Just get the flare grenade. Really? Really, with ten guns? Without a rocket launcher, this fight is actually quite difficult. Unless you have all the weapons. He does take a lot of damage. Now all I have to do is dodge for a little bit. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not. Use this. I don't think about that. Now I cannot use my normal rocket launcher anymore. You can also kill him with a normal rocket launcher in second phase. PS4 graphics. Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Right here. You coming? I think we both know this. This is where we go our separate ways. I see. Cute. 
Until next time, Leon. Leon! Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she do that? Gotta move. Island's gonna blow. It's gonna what? Yeah. <laughs> I'd recommend to save here. If you're unprofessional, then save here home. just in case. We're not out of here yet. Thanks. Hold left. There is somewhere around here the last collectible. Yes, right. It's over. Is supposed to be collected during the final countdown. This is also kind of difficult. Not unprofessional, you can slow down. If you're unassisted, you don't have to step on the gas almost at all. That's the game. What a great game. You alright? I'm not sure that was insane. Even 170 hours in, I will play it again. Probably not now. But I definitely will. Accomplished, right? Right. Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Final playthrough is done. Thank you for saving me. In Don't one sitting. You. you know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? Oh, Leon S. Maybe. Kennedy is not interested. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. Condor 1? Bruce to Condor 1, do you read me? Come in. I said come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on!
I don't know how long this takes, but I can just sit here and reminisce for a second. And I think that I got this game as a present from my friend just a few weeks ago. It's insane. And now it is my most played Resident Evil game. And one of my most played games as well, in general. Not to mention in that time period. Catch me through. I've obtained the amber. Excellent. Just one question. What are you planning to do with this? I do not pay you to ask questions. All you need to know is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. I am expediting that change. So, we're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course, now. Excellent job. Hey, that's not bad at all. I don't think I actually saved a single time. Six and a half hours, 640. For trying to get almost every single treasure. Getting all the treasures in the castle. Missing three in islands and one in village. Or was it two in village? Going to every single place with backtracking, not really rushing the game. I would say that's a pretty good time. I'll definitely get to make a save so that I can play through it again at some point. Finish all the weapons, try to get all the charms, try to get the time under... Under 220 would be nice. So 
So yeah, now we're done. This is all full. This is all done. I now I don't know what's next. Now that I'm finished, I don't know. Well, it's time to wrap up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I guess. This video probably helped you, <laughs> could, could help you to get S rank, even a professional, because of the strategies I mentioned, and whatnot. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.